and welcome to another Gaming Rules tutorial and playthrough video. In this video I'm going to be teaching you how to play Madeira, originally published in 2013 by Watch Your Game, designed by Paolo Soledad and Nuno Bizarro Sentiero. I'm joined today by some good friends of mine, John. Hello. Andy and Mark. Hello. Hi. And as mentioned at the start, I'm going to be giving a full, full tutorial of the game first. So if you just want to learn how to play the game, uh, then you can just watch the first bit of the video, but after that you can watch the rest of it and watch us playing through. Saying that, I'm not going to be playing this game. You three are going to be playing this game, I'm going to be providing the tutorial at the start, uh, and then possibly guidance and advice maybe along the way if you want it. Um, there's three reasons why I'm not going to be playing. Uh, the first of which is I've played this game many times before, uh, and none of you have not, you, you haven't played it before, so that would be a little unfair. Uh, the other thing is Mark's got to go at five o'clock and a three player game would run shorter. Um, and there's a third reason why, which I can't remember, so I'll forget that. There was a third reason, I can't remember. Now, why am I doing this video? Um, this game was originally released in 2013, as mentioned. There is a new version with upgraded components that's coming to Kickstarter later this year. Watch your game are going to Kickstarter for a new version of it. That will also include some modular expansions, which I will be covering in a later video. So if you are interested in learning what the expansions hold for the game, then please click on the little eye in the corner um, when I've done my other video. It's not done yet, but that will tell you what you need to know. Right, so let's get on with the game. So this is the island of Madeira, or the two islands. There's one large island, one small island. I am going to read a little bit of flavour text just from the rulebook to give you an idea of the setting. Uh, Madeira is an island officially discovered early in the 15th century by Portuguese seafarers. Madeira is the Portuguese word for wood, and it refers to the dense forest that covered its wild, fertile landscape. This and its strategic position far into the Atlantic Ocean made the island one of the most significant Portuguese discoveries. Madeira served as a laboratory for what would become the Portuguese Empire. Okay, There's lots more, but I'm not going to read through it. Um, now, I've done some of the setup already, I've not done all of it, but for the benefit of people watching, and obviously for you, I'm going to cover what we have on the game board. First of all, we have a victory point track around the outside of the board, right? The player with the most points at the end of the game uh, will win, and a number in a shield, anytime you see that, that means victory points. So you'll see that it's here, you'll see that it's here, uh, you'll see there's a little one there, for example. So that's, that's victory points. Um, so we have the large island and we have the small island. There's three regions in the game. So this is region one, this is region two, this is region three. Each region is made up of a series of fields. Each field will grow a particular type of resource, which if you have a worker in that field, you will be able to harvest, okay? Some of these fields are currently covered in wood, okay? And you can see underneath what that field will produce once all the trees have been chopped down. But right now, the only thing you can get from these fields is wood. Uh, but that, as the game goes on, that wood will gradually disappear. So, strategy tip, it's going to go by round two or three. There's five rounds in the game. You need another source of wood before this runs out, or when this runs out. And thankfully, there is a source of infinite wood here, right? This isn't a region. It is, is the forest field, so it's not part of any region. But if you have a worker there, you have access to an unlimited supply of wood, which sounds great, but you're missing out on the benefits of being in a region. So that's the islands, uh, that's that. Up here we have the city watch, and I think at the start of the game, each player places two of their 12 workers into the city watch. So if you want to do that at the start of the game. Now the city watch is a special area, because any time in the game where you get to place a worker, you can take them from anywhere. You can take them from your own supply, or you can take them from anywhere else on the board, except the city watch. That's what the padlock means. Okay. You can't voluntarily take somebody out of the city watch. There are ways to do it, but you know, only in special circumstances. Down here, we have three cities. We have Porto Santo, we have uh, Funchal, and we have Machico. Probably pronounced those completely wrong, but these are three cities. Um, there are 12 of these ambassadors. Are they ambassadors or advisors? Whatever they are. Guilds. Yeah. We're actually going to be using today two of the small expansions. We're going to be using the ambassador expansion. So I've mixed in the ambassador tiles to these guild tiles and then taken out four at random, one of each colour. And then they were placed randomly on this. Now, above 
the column, you see the cost to take the tile. It doesn't mean that these are any better than these because they're five and they were two. They were randomly placed, okay? Um, you will be placing workers into the cities as well as the, the fields. <coughs> Uh, this city generally produces bread, this city produces money, and this city produces wood. Okay. Over here, we have places where you can send your ships. You will be building ships during the game, and you can send them here, which are the, to, the, to the colonies. Um, and to go to the colonies, you need to deliver grapes, which is what this is on here. Okay. Uh, going there will get you various benefits that I'll come on to later. Down here are the markets, uh, and here is where you sell wheat, sugar, or grapes. Um, so yeah, both of these areas need ships, but this is the colonies, this is the markets. You can see the symbol for the colonies is that, symbol for the markets is this. Over in the top right of the board, from my perspective, we have the windmill. That is essentially how many of your workers are automatically fed every round. So there are five rounds in the game. You need to feed your workers at the end of the round. You have 12 in the possible. You already have two on the board. You're gonna start with more on the board in a minute. Uh, and you need to feed your workers, which is what bread is for. That's the, that's the, the main use of bread during the game is, is to feed your, your workers. Right, so that's a quick overview of what we've got here. We have this board here. I need to get one disc from each of you. And that's from here. <coughs> Now to start with, everybody starts with a bit of money, some bread, uh, a piece of wood, some grapes, sugar and some wheat. Nobody starts with any pirates, okay? There are pirates around and you will be gaining those pirate tokens during the game. They are numbered 1, 3, 6, 12. You can keep them secret. So you can't keep secret how many tokens you've got, but you will keep secret. Pirates at the end of the game will lose you points depending on how many you've got. Okay. So you, what, my bit of strategy advice is don't go out of your way to avoid pirates, just make sure you've got a way of getting rid of them okay. afterwards. Right, so um, what else have we got? Oh yeah, these tiles here, these were randomly placed. There's actually, um, there's four A's, four B's. I picked three of the A's at random, put one there, one there, one there, and three B's at random. So there's a bit of variability there in the setup, and there's a bit of variability here in the setup. And these are crown requests, there's variability there. Speaking of crown requests, you each start with one of them. So John, top, middle or bottom? Top, please. There you go, that is yours. Andy, top or bottom? Bottom. Bottom. Mark, top, bottom, left or right? Tricky, left. There you go. Now, on the back of that is a number of crowns. Do we keep that secret? And I always forget if it's the player with the most crowns or the least crowns that starts. So apologies for this, I am going to look it up. Very quickly in the rule book, right. Um, crown request, starting crown request, shuffle them. The player who has the starting crowns request with the most crowns is the first player. I've got three. Duh. Yeah, three, because we're a three player game, so the one with four on is gone. So you're going to be the first player. Uh, right, which means we put your disc here, and then your disc here, and your disc here. Right, okay, that's that. Starting money, uh, player one gets two additional reals, player two gets three additional reals, third player gets four additional reals. We're playing clockwise, do we? Yes. Okay. The turn order will change, but at the start of the game it's, it's clockwise. Four for you. Thank you very much. Right. We've done the cities. Just three for me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. Cities. So, in reverse turn order, each player moves one of your workers from your home area onto one of the cities. Because we're a three player game, I would recommend you each choose a city. And obviously you've not played it before, so you won't have an idea of which one you want to go for. But I'll tell you what the things do. Bread, we've mentioned briefly what bread does, is it feeds your workers at the end of the round. This is a dice, you, you will be taking dice and then you will be placing dice. Bread can be used to modify the value of a dice. That's the other use for bread. So bread will feed your workers and allow you to manipulate your dice. Money is used for uh, activating buildings. You're gonna need a lot of money in this game. It's really important. All of these are very, very important. It's not like one's more important than the other. Um, and the wood is needed to build your ships, maintain your ships, and to buy these, these guild tiles here. So which one of those cities would you like to uh, 
Would you like to start in? Uh, I'm going to go after wood. Okay, so that goes down here. John? Uh, bread. Okay. Okay, if the other one then. The I think you can actually start in the same city if you wanted to, but I think it's probably a good idea to, to split up. Right, City Watch we've done, everybody got two on there. Colonies we've done, nobody starts with anything there. Uh, the regions, right, initial player setup. So again, in reverse turn order, you now will place two workers from your home onto fields, and you must, you, you cannot have two workers in the same field and you cannot have two workers in the same region at the start of the game. So if you put yours on first, then what I'll do is I'll explain the rules and then I'll allow you to, to change your mind. But yeah, just, just stick a couple on. So the regions are detected with the red? Yes. So, okay. yeah. so I'm going to put one there on the big wood pile. Yeah. And I'm going to put one over here with the sugar. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. so at the start of the game, you cannot place your worker in a field with somebody else. Okay. That restriction goes after the initial setup. Okay. Each player can't have more than one worker in a field permanently, but you can you can share it places later on. Am I allowed to put my worker in the infinite woods? You can. Uh -huh. Again, a little bit of a tip for me. I wouldn't do it right at the start of the game. <clears throat> okay. Because there are you, other sources of wood that will okay. that will be better for you, but sooner or later you're going to have to go in there. Okay, in which case I'll go for the next biggest stack of wood. Yeah. On the basis that wood is very important. This is a wheat symbol, is it? That is sugar. 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 Okay. Okay. No, sorry, it's yeah, sorry. my fault. <clears throat> um, so that's wheat. So I presume wheat turn uh, sugar. Each, each of the three resources has its uses. Mm -hmm. You can see from here in the market, yeah. you might think, well, wait a minute, wheat's not very good. Mm -hmm. Wheat doesn't sell for very much yeah. compared to sugar and grapes. But wheat has another use. Two wheat because of can be turned into one move up on the windmill. Right. So that's a second, that's another use for wheat. Uh, and grapes, grapes can be used here. So. Okay, so. So sugar is the most valuable in terms of selling for points in the market. And I've got to be in, diff in different At regions. the start of the game, you cannot put two workers in the same region. Right. Have you placed... No, you, no, you do both of yours. Oh, do both yeah. of mine. Right. Okay, and Andy? Right, okay. So that would be the setup finished. Now let's explain how you play the game. So, you have in front of you a player reference card. Uh, which graphically explains the entire flow of the game and is exceptionally good once you understand what those images are telling you. So there's five rounds in the game. Each round is, consists of five phases, A, B, C, D and E. Okay. So in phase A, what we do is we set up the board. We will shuffle these characters, Okay. and we're using the Harvester expansion. Normally there's four characters and this one would stay empty in round one, this one would stay empty in round two. But because we're using the harvester, um, the harvester goes where the empty one would be. And then we shuffle these four and we play them out like so. Okay, so that's done every round. So you always know where the harvester's going to be, but you don't know where the other four are going to be. The other thing that happens is we roll the three pirate dice, and I'm going to use this dice rolling tray here from Daily Productions. And the pirate dice go in there, and then each player will roll three dice. So John, your nearest, you can roll your own. So if you roll them in there, okay, and then without changing the numbers, I'm going to put them there. I'll roll yours, because I like rolling up. All about the dice. Three, one, one. And you'll notice these dice are not normal dice. Okay, they are just Mr. Johns. They are just one, two, and three. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So we've rolled the pirate dice. We've rolled the guild dice. What then happens <coughs> is you're each going to choose. So in player order, you're each going to choose one of those rows. Okay. So Andy, you will go first, and you will choose either this row, this row, or this row. Uh, the row that you choose, there are three things that impact on that decision that, you, that you've made, three things that are affected. First of all, you get those dice, okay? So that's the first thing you need to be thinking about is, 
this is a better row because it's three, two, and two rather than three, three, and one. This is this is the weakest row for dice. Okay, in theory. The second thing is you pick up one of the tiles in that row, which at the start of the game there's loads of choice, but later on there will be less and less as these are taken. And I'm going to tell you now a quick strategy tip. Going first at the start of round five, when there is only one tile left in each row, can be game-changing. Because if there's a tile left that's useless to you, you want to go first to pick up the one that's good for you, okay? The third thing that happens will not be relevant in the first round of the game, but if you notice, underneath the dice that you take, there are some icons. If you choose this row, you may flip over all of your used guild tiles of either that colour or that colour. Nobody has any guild tiles at the start of the game. So that, what's underneath the dice in round one, doesn't make any difference whatsoever. But later on, if you were to have this guild tile, and you've used it, you might want to pick this row or this row in order to flip them over, so that you can then use it again, okay? So, the row that you choose, there are three things that, that impact off that. That is phase A done. Right, phase B, is you will now use the dice that you have drafted to take actions. You may use either one of your dice, or if you remove one of your workers from the city watch, you may use one of the pirate dice. Okay, that's the only way you can use the pirate dice is by, you see here, you remove one of your workers from the city watch. Let's cover using your own dice first. The numbers on the dice refer to the regions. So I said this was the, the worst set of dice, because it's a 1, 1, and a 3. If you're planning to take actions in region 1, it's fine, okay? Whereas if you're planning to take actions in regions 2 and 3, you're going to need you're gonna need these dice. But one bread can boost the value of a dice by 1. And this is why you always need some bread going into the round, so that you can modify the dice in case you get stuck you know, if somebody rolls three ones, for example, and all of your workers are here, if you haven't kept any bread, you can be a bit screwed. Thankfully, the game has a way of getting bread if you're in an emergency. So we'll cover that, we'll cover that later on. But basically, what you do, say I've drafted these dice, I've got a two, two and a three. And what you do is you place your dice onto the characters. So I could place this dice, a three, onto any of them because I could put it on the one, whereas the two, I couldn't put it on a three. I could only put it on the one or the two, unless I spent a bread and made it a three. Okay? That was a three, two, and a two, wasn't it? Yeah, yes. three, two, two. Right, okay. <clears throat> so, when you put a character, uh, when you put a dice on a character, uh, you then get to do, and I'm gonna cover the Harvester later, let's cover the other four characters first. Each character has two different actions, okay? This action, and this action. And I'll cover the bottom action first because it's the same on every single character, and that is Harvest. You harvest one resource for each of your workers in that region. That's it. So right now, uh, John, if you were to place this two here, and say, I'm gonna harvest in region two, you would get a grape, a grape and, and that's it, okay? But if you had more workers here, you'd get one for every worker. So there's an advantage to having multiple workers in the same region, because then when you do the harvest action, you get one from everything, okay? So all of the characters have a harvest option. The other ability of the characters is, and let's go through this one first, that is place two workers onto fields. And those two workers can come from anywhere. At the start of the game, you probably want to use them from your own home supply. Mm -hmm but later on you might want to move them around. And remember, we, we've done the setup now, so there are now no restrictions. So you could say, right, well, I'm going to put this on there, and I'm going to place two new workers, and you could put two new workers there and there, and then your next action could be to harvest, and you'd get three things, okay? You will take one action at a time. Oh, sorry, there is, there is another thing that choosing a row determines, turn order for the round. So whoever chooses this row, will go first in, in, the, in the placement part of the round. So yeah, so that is placing uh, workers on fields. Only one worker on each field? Only one of your workers on each ah, field. Okay. So multiple players <coughs> can now share fields. Um, right, that's what that one does. Uh, which one to cover next? Let's cover this one next. 
because this is weird. Weird in that it catches people out. This is not placing extra workers in the city. Okay, so this was placing workers on fields. This is not placing workers in the city. What this is, is moving two pieces around the city and you can, you, you can move your own piece or a neutral piece. And then every city that you are in produces whatever that city produces. This one produces bread, this one produces money, this one produces wood. And what you get is two for each of your own workers and one for each neutral worker. Okay. So for example, right now you could activate this city and say, right, I'm going to move that one to there, yeah. that one to there, yeah. and, all of a sudden and you've five generated bread. five bread. Yeah. Okay. If you had a worker in each city, you would every city would generate. Okay, so you can only move your own workers and the neutral workers around, and then every city generates. But it, it is not putting new workers into the city. I'll come on to that in a minute. This one is you buy one of these guild tiles. You pay the wood that's shown here. You take one of the guild tiles. Each one has a special ability that you flip it over to use it. We've mentioned how you flip it back. Well, we've, we've mentioned one way of flipping it back. There's a few ways. Um, and guild tiles can be useful as well for, for some other things, but that, that is buying a guild tile. Right, this is either buying or moving two ships. Mm -hmm. So at the start of the game, nobody has any ships. So the first time you use that action, you will be using it to buy at least one ship, and you have to pay a wood to build a ship, obviously. Later on in the game, you could just choose that action to move ships without having to pay the wood again, because the ship's already been built. Right. Whenever you build a ship, you either send it to a colony or you send it to a market. Okay? The requirement for going onto one of the spaces is what's printed above it. So this space here that costs three grapes is no better than this space that costs one. You would only go there if these were full. So when you go to this colony, that's where you go first, mm -hmm. okay? Can you just give us a couple of the 12 pirate tokens and I'm gonna cover over four player game only spaces. Um, so yeah, so those spaces are only in a, only in a four player game. Um, so when you build a ship, send it to a colony, you must pay that amount of grapes to the supply and you immediately get either of the bonuses printed there. Okay, and again, these were randomly dealt out at the start of the game. Some of them are very simple. That's three points. That's five money. That is place a worker in a field. That's move one up on the windmill. Uh, that is put one into the city watch. See the little um, mm -hmm. the fortress? Awesome. That is put one into a city and get a point. Okay, it doesn't remove the tile. That tile stays there for the whole game. So everybody who sends a ship to the Azores gets either that or that for every ship that you send. Okay. There is another, there's two other benefits to sending ships to the colonies, which I'll come on to in a minute. If you send ships to the market, that's a bit simpler, it's just spend resources to get money. But your ship occupies that slot, and nobody else can then use that slot until you have moved that ship. Okay, so that is ships, and that is the harvest. Sorry, on the ships yep. arriving here, you get to choose which space you yep, want. You so obviously, in this in this game, we'd be wanting to go to the place generating the most money first of all in the three player game. Uh, oh, no, no, because it, it costs. It, yeah. Oh, in fact, can you pass us some more pirate tiles? Because this space here is only in a two player game. So that space there is also not in use. Let's just cover those over as well. So any of those spaces are available. Okay. What it means is these two spaces are only available if you're playing with three yeah. or four players. So if you've got one grape, you could go here and get four money. Right. But if you have four grapes, you could go here and get 13. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So the harvester, this one, when you place a die on the harvester, you actually have to choose which of the quadrants you want to place it in. And it basically allows you to do a super harvest for that particular resource. So it's a normal harvest, but with either plus two wheat, plus two sugar, or plus two grapes. But you've got to get some of those grapes in order... Uh, so for example here, Andy, you could go here, choose that, and you would get one wheat for this worker and an extra two. You couldn't choose to get two extra sugar because you weren't getting any extra sugar anyway. Basically somebody works a lot harder. 
This is plus one, which is less good than these, but it's plus one of whatever you want, as long as you're producing it, including wood. Right, a quick note about wood. Wood and the access to wood is possibly one of the most difficult concepts in the game to understand because of this table here. So I mentioned if you were to build two ships, you need two wood. At the start of the game, each player has only got one wood. So you might think, oh, I don't want to do that action because I can only build one ship. It's not true. Any time you need wood and you don't have wood, you can buy it. As long as you have access to wood. And access to wood is actually very, very simple. It's just you've got to be in an area that has wood. So right now, Mark, we'll use you this time as an example. You decide to go here, you want to build two ships, that's going to cost you two wood. You only have one wood, so you spend that one wood, you then decide to buy the extra one, and that wood comes from here, and you actually remove it from here. Okay? Mm -hmm. Could I decide to buy two extra wood or spending three? I don't believe so. I think you can only buy what you need. Because you're not actually buying the tokens and putting them in front of you, you're, you're, you're buying them and then immediately using them. Okay. And remember, this area, infinite supply of wood. Okay? Right, so that's, that's wood and how, how important wood is. Um, right, so that's the characters. Here's the tricky bit. Whenever you, yeah, whenever you, <laughs> Great. Whenever okay. you go on a space and say, I'm doing that character action, can you pass me one of your, your squares? Yes. You also put a square on the scroll in the building action below. So every one, every time you place one of your own dice onto a space, you put a square. If you were to do that twice, which you can do, you put two squares. Not that it matters. Okay. When we when we come to resolving the squares later on, you only need one there. But you just put the squares to track your dice. There's also a limit. Uh, there can be no more than three dice on each character because it's a three player game and no more than one pirate dice per character. If you place a pirate dice instead, you don't place a square. Okay. Other than that, it's exactly the same. You still get to carry out the action as normal, but you've got three of your own and that one. So potentially you could do four actions in a turn by using the pirate dice. But using a pirate dice loses you one of your workers from the city watch, and you don't get to place a square. Right, the squares. This was all phase B. Phase B is the main part of the game, right, where you basically take your actions, place your dice, and do things. When you are finished in phase B, you say pass, okay? And when you pass, you choose which one of these four spaces you want to go on. That will give you the bonus that's printed on the space and it will determine player order at the start of next round. And remember what I said about round five? I've seen this, that people have passed in phase B when they still have actions to take because they were so desperate to go early in round five to get the first choice. I would not do it in rounds one, two, and three, but later in the game, you might want to pass early just to get first choice of, of which of these things you want. Okay, so phase B is done. You've all taken your actions, you've possibly placed your pirate dice, you've now got squares on the buildings. We go into phase C, which is where we resolve the building actions. The building actions are resolved based on uh, this number here. So it's this one first, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. And the building action is printed below the character. So this building action is getting bread. This building action is putting people into the city. This building action is sending workers to the colonies. This building action is refreshing your guild tiles. And this building action is sending workers into the city watch. The power of that action depends on how many workers you have in that region. So, for example, here, right now, you're going to get to do this building action. Mm -hmm. You have one worker in this region, yeah. so you get two bread. Yeah. If you had three workers in the region, you'd get five bread. Yeah. Sounds simple, mm -hmm. but you have to pay for it. And that's where this comes in, because once we, have, once we go into phase C, at the start of phase C, we will roll 
all of the dice. So let, let's say this has been used by everybody. Let's say everybody has a square on here. You've all taken one action and somebody also did it again. Okay? We will roll all of those dice at the start of, well, when we're resolving this character. And then in a three player game, the cost to take this action is nine minus the sum of the green dice. Let's forget the pirate for now. So the more people who use that action, the cheaper then the building action becomes for everybody. Whereas if you go there on your own, it's going to be nine minus that. It's going to be expensive. So there is an element of, oh, well, they've already gone there. So if I go there as well, that means the building action is going to be cheaper. And that's the main reason for money, is to pay for these building actions. Okay? Is it compulsory or have you got no, a choice? you have a choice. But the choice is you either pay to do the action or you take pirates. And the number of pirates you take is one plus the roll of this dice. So, yeah, the dice are all rolled together. So if, if we rolled the dice and they came out as that, we'd be looking, all oh, right, so three, four, five, six, seven. So I pay two to do the action or I pay four pirates and don't do the action. Well, I'll pay two and do the action, right? But if that wasn't there, you're like, oh, do I pay two to get two bread or do I just take one pirate? You know, if you're short on money and you've got other actions you want to do as well, that's, that's where your money... Managing your money comes in. And then we go into this character, we roll the dice, we resolve that one, and so on and so forth. So B and C are the main parts of the game. B is where you're choosing to where to place your dice and doing the actions, but wherever you place your dice, you also place a square, and that determines which building actions you get to do in the next phase. Sometimes you don't really want to do this action, but you really want to do this one, or vice versa. You know, if you really want to do this action, but you don't want to use that, use a pirate dice. Because a pirate dice doesn't get you to place a square in there. And therefore you don't have to pay for it and, you know, everything else. And these will move around apart from him, who goes to one, two, three, four, will, five. Yes, yeah. So they're going to match up the different things for different combinations. Yes, yeah, absolutely. You have to keep reacting every round depending on where they are. Right. Any questions about phase C? <laughs> um... I think probably playing it. Yeah, we will. Right. Nice. <clears throat> Phase D consists of four parts. The first part, whoever has the most workers in the city watch may remove one of those workers and get four points. Remove someone from the city watch. And this and is the city watch. That is the city points. watch. So whoever has the majority in here can remove one of them to get four points. Okay. Right. The next thing is any worker you have on a colony at this point produces automatically without you having to spend an action wheat, sugar or wine or grapes depending on where they are mm -hmm. I did mention briefly I think uh, this building action is sending your workers to the colonies what I didn't mention is when you send your worker to a colony you get one immediate one off victory point for every ship that you had at that colony when the, when the worker arrives so that's another reason for having ships here, is that if you send workers there, that's this, yeah. you get the points. That's that there. Whenever you send a worker to that colony, you get one point for every ship you have at that colony. And having workers on colonies, whilst you can't harvest as an action, they produce resources automatically every round, for free. So that's, that's uh, phase D, step two. Right. Yeah. right. Phase D, step three, you must pay one wood for every ship you have. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. If you do not have the wood, you must take a pirate for every ship that you cannot pay the upkeep for. Arr. Okay? And D, D.4 is pay you workers. Mm -hmm. And it's the same rule. It's one bread per worker on the board, minus how many are automatically fed because of your windmill, and for each worker you cannot or choose not to feed, you take a pirate. Top tip, if you're short on bread, take the pirates and leave yourself with some bread, because otherwise you will be at the mercy of the dice. Remember, you need bread to manipulate the dice. So if I had a choice of, oh, well, I could spend all of my bread and feed my workers, or I'll keep two of it back and take two pirates, I'd, I'd take the two pirates, because that two bread is going to allow me to manipulate the dice. Okay. Okay. And I presume at the end of the game, 
The pirates come off your score. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Phase E. So the most important part of the game. Let's get to that. <laughs> Scoring. Okay. There's a, the, the main way of getting points in this game is by fulfilling the crown's requests. You have each started the game with one crown request. And this is a part of the game that I absolutely love. In the first round of the game, everybody will, well, in every round of the game, you will take another crown request. Because it happens in phase A when you pick a row. You will take another crown request and you will put it there next to your existing one, right? In round one, you will score one of your crown requests. You choose which one you want to score. You score it, you flip it face down or remove it from the game, and that's it. It's gone. In round two, you will then pick up another crown request, so you've now got two of them. In round two, you do not score any crown requests. Okay? Something else happens instead. In round three, you pick up another crown request, so you've now got three of them. And at the end of round three, you will score two of them. In round four, you'll pick up another one. In round five, you'll pick up another one. And at the end of round five, you'll score all three. So during the game, you will score six crown requests, the one that you started with, and the five that you pick up. And that's where you're going to get most of your points from during the game. So we do need to explain what the crown requests are. Yours is very simple. Turn Spend, cash into points. Turn cash into points, up to 15, and then done. Do I discard the yeah. cash? Yeah, you have to spend the cash to get the points. Yours, you score points for up to three ships in the markets. These are the markets, and the points you get depends on where the ship is and the round number we're on. So any ship in this region, sorry, not region, any ship in this market in round one is worth three points. In round three, if you were to score it, then is worth six. Here is worth four. So the points differ for each market depending on when you choose to score that tile. But because you've started with that tile, at some point in the game, you want to have some ships down here. Okay? And the yours is exactly the same, but for the colonies. So if you're planning to score that tile in round one, you want three ships here and you'll get 18 points. Right? It's probably not going to happen. But if you were somehow to get three ships here in round one and score that tile, that would be 18 points. Sorry, here. Yeah, well spotted. <coughs> Would it 18 points? Here would be 9 points, that would be rubbish. <laughs> yeah, okay, so if I want to get ships there, I need to... You'd need to do that action that. Twice, twice, which means you'd need the wood and you'd need the grapes. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not getting 12 points likely. is possible. Yeah, get another grape and build two ships and send there. How do you get another grape? Well, there's harvesting, but there's this. So this is something you need to be aware of. You can do this in phases B, C and D. And it is, convert any two things into that, into one thing. Notice that bread is not part of that, it's wheat, sugar and grape. Okay? And while we're talking about this side of the board, in phases B, C and D, you can spend two wheat to go up on the windmill. Okay. And the emergency... It's automatically feeding your troops, basically. Yeah. 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 And the emergency method, which I have used from time to time, at any point in phases B and C, you can move down the windmill to get three money or one bread. So try to avoid doing that, but it's there as a get-out clause, should you need it. If you go off the top of the windmill, you get a point instead of going up. And if you go down the bottom of the windmill, then bad stuff happens. Try, try to avoid that happening. I mentioned the crown request. You score them in round one, three, and five. So what happens in rounds two and four is the king decrees we should change what we're planting. So if you notice, some of the places on the board like that, yeah, have a little, so it's wheat, but there's a little sugar icon in the corner. That means if this space is uncovered at the end of round two, it changes from wheat to sugar, okay? If it's uncovered later in the game, it doesn't change. It's only if it's uncovered at that point in the game. And then round four, any sugar plantation would change to grapes. It's just a shift in the resources as the game goes on. Right, end of the game. Pirates. Whoever has the most pirates loses 16 points. Then 8, then 4. If you don't have any pirates at all, you don't lose any points. If you have more pirates than 20, right? if you, if you go, oh, I've got millions of pirates, I don't care anymore. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you lose points for everyone beyond 20. 
Um, all your stuff at the end of the game converts to money, and every five money is worth a point. It's negligible. Your winning score should be over 100. Yeah. Can I just confirm? So pirates aren't the number of tokens you've got, they're the numbers on the numbers. Number, added together. On the tokens. So if you pick a 12... Oh no, you don't pick a random. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, right. That, would, that, would that be was bad. somewhat concerning. That would exactly. be bad. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. No, if you take one pirate, you just take a number one and put it crazy. Right. Yeah. Everybody knows you've got a one. Look, we just took a token and no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, 12. <laughs> There's quite a bit of randomness in there. That is all of the rules, <clears throat> apart from what all of these do. And I would suggest we probably don't... Oh, yeah, them as well. Probably don't explain these until somebody actually comes to buy one. Let's explain what these do. A lot of them you've seen before. Right, the only one you haven't seen, oh no, there's two, this one and this one. So this one, when you score this tile, choose one of the cities. If you have the majority of workers in that city, tie breaks broken by whoever's furthest to the right, you get the big points, otherwise you get the little points. Okay. And when does this happen? When you choose to score it. Oh, that's quite powerful. Okay, so that potentially... You score it once? Yeah. That potentially could be 15 points. If you have the majority in this city when you score, just take it and then wait to the time when you've got majority. Yeah, but remember, you can't. You can only score them at the end of rounds one, three, and five. Okay. Yes, because they're these. Yes. Right, great. Okay, and this one, five points for each different coloured face-up guild tile that you have. Okay. And these are the guild tiles. So I said these are generally a maximum of fifteen. Yeah. That's 20. a maximum of twenty, but it's harder to do than the rest. If you take this on round one, you're probably going to score five points for it. But I have seen somebody get 20 from it. I did mention there were other ways to flip over your guild tiles, and that's this. There is another one on one of these tiles, but that's not in this game. So, yeah, because all of these have abilities that you, you use and you flip them over, but then you kind of want to be flipping them back so that you can use them again. Okay, so that's 20 points potential if you, ha if you have one of each of these each of the colors unflip. face up yes at okay. the point you score it okay what have i forgotten i think that's everything i think that's everything on the player aid i think that's everything on the board i've covered this bit uh i've covered that bit i've covered the access to wood i've covered the fact that you can buy wood if you need it what do you know when you put your people down? Do you know the dice? Do you know this token? Do you know this setup? Yes. Uh, you don't know the dice. Okay. So if you wanted to, we can we can place your workers on different places now and re-roll the dice. If you're or are you happy with where where they are? I think I'll do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that think... differently okay. as well. Yeah, I mean, if you want to shift them. Do you? Mm. Want, do you... Is that fair to do it though? Having yeah, no no yeah, yeah, no yeah. one of the dice. No, that's fine. Yeah, go for it. No, we'll we'll re-roll the dice. So look, okay. So uh, this. So, yeah. Now that everybody knows what they're doing, where would you place your? My, yeah. Those are my I'm still actually going to go there, but I think I'll pr prefer to go here. Okay. In that case, my go. So I will do that one there, and actually I'll go for the. And we're going to be changing the characters mm. as well. No, I can't do that. Because that's random as well, is Characters it? are done at the start of each round. Okay, great. <clears throat> right, so what I'm trying to do is find sugar and a large stack of wood. Yeah. Ah. But that's in the same region, so I can't do that, so I'm going to go there. there. I'll tell you my thinking. Yeah. I like the idea there's a big stack of wood on first, I might as well go for that. Yeah. I think this might be important, particularly when we get down for boats, but also there are two buildings on this side, on each of those. Is there only one building over there? Yeah. And so I felt as though that was probably a, okay. a thought that was worth considering. I'll let you do the characters. Yeah, I mean, one of the things, I mean, I've played this game about 15 times. I have won this game with a heavy city strategy, a heavy colony strategy, a heavy harvesting strategy. There's so many different ways you can play it. You can try and dabble and do a bit of each. Right. This is is take them from here. This is buying one of the guild tiles. This is uh, no, which is moving, the moving, that's the people, moving those around yeah. and then taking the benefits of the city. Yeah. Buying boats. Yeah. yeah. And using them. Yep. Yeah. yeah. This well, is moving the boats. Yeah. This is putting people out yeah. here or here. And, and that's just this super is harvest. That you choose when you get the bonus yeah. you are. Okay, great. Okay. okay. So 
One of these dice you may notice is kind of pink instead of white. Don't worry about it, it should be white. I painted it red for reasons I can't go into. <laughs> <laughs> and then quickly try to paint it white. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Interesting. Big numbers. There we go. Wow, yeah, yeah quite numbers. big numbers. Wow. So we are... Yeah, they look <clears> pretty good. Round one. Phase A. Andy first. Choose a row. And if you're not going to score that tile at the end of this round, you need to be choosing a tile that you are going to score. This round. Okay, I'll take the middle row with all the threes. And let's go for all the threes. One of, of those. Okay. And you may now refresh either your green or red guild tiles if you don't have. Me. Yes. I think I'm going to go. Oh, so nobody went in region one to start with. Mm. Interesting. So I've got this very simple, yep. easy thing to understand. <laughs> yeah, so, so you just want to get money. I think I'm going to stay with that. Do I have to, I have to take... Either this row or yeah. this row. Uh, no one's in one. Well, I'll take the three and two twos. All right, okay. And which of those scoring to... Oh, just... If you... Obviously, in round one, you're only scoring one tile. Mm -hmm. But in rounds three and five, where you're scoring multiple tiles, mm -hmm. if you had that, for example, and you wanted to score both of them, it would have to be different ships. Okay. You could not score that with three ships and that with the same three ships. Okay. Okay, so here's my incredibly detailed made up strategy that yep. I've come up with on my first Pop as many playing. balls right. as you can. Uh, I want to get ships. Mm hmm. And get them to the place where sugar, and get people the place with sugar, and go to the sugar market. And that's how I want to generate okay. as much cash as possible. So you want to, which I then convert into resources when I need them. Right. So, which one of these things is going to help me with that plan? Well, in order to send people here, yeah, that's this action. Yeah. So you're going to have to have some workers on that island in order to do that oh, building action, yeah, yeah. which will send them to the colonies. Okay. Uh, obviously having boats when you send them to the colonies is a little bit of a benefit, yeah. but is not, is not essential. Right. Uh, I mean, you have not much choice on here. It's money, money, money. If you're planning to be generating money a lot during yeah. the game, you might want to take yeah, another okay. money All one. Right. I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. So I want to get ships to here. Which action is that? Uh, that. Oh, it's move two ships, yeah. but if and you move a ship from there to the board, it costs a wood. Yeah, and this here is yeah. having a number of the guilds. Different so I don't want to go for that yet. Face up time. I probably won't do. I probably won't get three ships there this turn. No. Now, remind me what this one is. Uh, choose a city. If you have the majority oh, in right. that city, you get the big points. Otherwise, you get the little points. This one is go here. I really don't want to diversify my ships at the moment, so I've got no choice really. Okay. And you get that. <clears throat> right. Yeah. That is phase A done. So phase B. Oh, sorry. We should have put the the discs on. So who chose the top row? Me. You did. Middle row. Me. <clears throat> so that is the turn order. Okay. So you're up. So you place either one of those dice or one of those dice. And remember, there's two things that hinge off this decision, is the character you choose, but then the building action below. Yeah, so I, quite like, I think I need to get some more wood. Okay. So I can make some ships. Yep. So in order to do that, I'm looking here, or is here? That is the activate the city's action. So you're in the wood city. Am I better off putting another person in here before I activate that? Well, that's always the thing, isn't it? Every, you know, by having more people on the board, not for that one. That one is moving people around the city and then activating the cities. But if you were planning to harvest, you might want to put extra people in the fields before you harvest. So why would I want to take this action then? Because uh, that will get you, at the moment, if you were to put that there and that there, it would get you five wood. Ah, OK. Right. But also, I'm trying to get the most. That I've got to score that at the end of this round. Yeah, at the moment, you are not. Ha you don't have the majority in this city. Yeah. The neutral player has the majority in this city. This is closest. So currently, if you were to score that now, you'd only get the five points. Yeah. So to get more people in there. To get more people in there is this building action. 
and you can put them on any empty space. So you've probably not seen this, but when you remove a guild tile, there's two more spaces in the city. Yeah. So if I want to make wood, it's whether I just go for a load of wood now, whether I go for a slower means of making wood. So here you could, I could put two new people out. Two new people onto the board. I think that sounds like a good idea. Okay, so you put a dice there. It's a number two dice, so it can be placed in region two. You put one of your squares on here. And then you choose either to harvest or the top action of placing two workers on fields, which I think is what you're going to do. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to go here. Yep. And I'm going to go over here. Is there any point diversifying or... That's too bad. So what are you thinking about with that? Well, I'm thinking that when I eventually go to here and build some ships, I want as much wheat as I possibly can. Okay, so you've placed them on the places to get the wheat. So you remember, you only get this wheat if you harvest in that region. Ah, okay. You so really then, I'm better off putting something else in here and harvesting the whole I region. I just yeah. you've put a two down. Right? I can't put that. Can't, you can't do that, no. But you could put, ah, you could put, put a two there. down. I, I can't put in three then, can I? So you're going to harvest in can two. Can if you spend a bread. Is that yeah. right? You're gonna no, 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 he's, he's, doing, he's the doing the top place. action of okay, placing. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so I'll spend a bread. Yeah. And I'm going to put... Um, but you don't need to spend the bread yet. Okay. But Because you're, you're doing value two in region two, so that's fine. And I'll put it there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. This, this is place them onto any, okay, any fields. Right. But if you were to choose to use that character or that character, you would have to spend a bread to increase the okay. two to a three. Oh, because it's on that side. Okay, right, that's what I thought. So I could not put a second one in there, could I? Nope. Um, do, 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 yeah, let's go here. Let's try okay. With um, Andy. Right, I'm going here. Yeah. yeah. Remember, there is a limit of three dice maximum per character. And one of those dice could be a pirate dice, yeah. but only one. And let's see what we've got. Two tokens there. Is it five over there? There's five there. Yeah, these numbers here are how many wood goes on that space, depending on the number of players in the game. Right, let's go here and here. Okay. So, if you wanted to use this, mm -hmm. this might be your only chance because one of these two might decide to go there again. Yeah. You should get three actions per turn and or, 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 and or a pirate dice. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's. It's three there. Yeah. I was looking for the resource underneath it. Um, okay, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, so you pop a disc on there as well. Popular yeah. character. Yeah. The Capitana. There you go. Oh. That's a boat. That's a boat. That's <laughs> not very old. Sailing across Madeira. And... Right, back to the top. So if I was together again, I could put a pirate dice. It there. could be a pirate. No, there's three dice there now. That's it. Okay. So it's three dice, one of which could be a pirate. Uh, dice. So okay. this character is now locked. Full. Yeah. So I, I want to harvest this section. Okay. And harvesting is going to be here. It, it may as well be because we're using the harvester it, title. Yeah. It could be any of them if you like. Yeah, you could. You could use this character to harvest. If you wanted to, it depends. Of which, course, yes. Depends which of the building yeah, I get, you want I get to extra do. stuff here. Yeah. So in fact, I want to get extra wheat. Okay. So I'm going to put my two there, but I need to change it. So you spend a bread. A bread. Make the two into a three. To make it a three. You were going to put it on that particular space. So that I get one, two, three wheat. You get three wheat, one sugar, and you get this wood. And one wood. Yeah. Can he harvest in region two? No. Well, I haven't got enough goes now to make my ship and take it to the... <laughs> no. <laughs> um, to the pirate. I might have. You might have. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. I might have maturity. Shall I put two uh, on Do you need him? to put a token there? Yes, he does. Shall I put that a two there by then harvest in region two? Is that correct? Uh, no. Th this character is in region three. Okay, got it. So oh, yeah, if you place here, you harvest in this region. Yeah, I'm gonna go here also. Okay. But 
Um, I even want to harvest in region two, so you can't. Oh, Ali doesn't have the option, does he? A regular no, harvest. No. Yeah, so I can do it with this one instead. But it's still, it, you still only harvest in that region. Apologies if that wasn't clear. Ah, okay. Yeah, you can't. So this one. You go down there. Right. So that so gets going to go there, and instead of buying a guild tile, yep. you're going to harvest in this region. So you get yep. a wheat, and you get a wood from there and a wood from there. Can I just check something John's done? Because John put a three here, but there's no need to. He could have put a two. Yeah, did you want to put a two there? That saves you a three. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, you don't get you don't get a. Uh... So I'm kind as well, John. <laughs> okay, I remember that. <laughs> you don't get a brown and a bit forge. And a bit foolish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're better, kind of in a better game, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, right, you're Might up. Go? Yep. Um, okay, I too will harvest then, using the super harvester. Okay. And I want to. No, you've only got, yeah. So do you want extra sugar or do you want an extra wood? Extra sugar. Okay, so we, we're going to use your three. Yeah. You put it on there. Yeah. So you get one plus two, so you get three sugar yeah. and you get that wood. Okay. Um, it's interesting how we're going to harvest three sugar. <laughs> there, might, there might be we're, a group thing. We're well, your gamers, we like stuff. Yeah. So. Now then, I have got four wheat. You do. And there's a lovely space here that gives me 12, 12 money for money four, for four In order to do that, I need to get a boat there. Yeah, which is this action. Which is there. So I need to do that using this pirate dice. Or that and a bread. But I want to make sure I've got the facility. So, okay, the, ha yeah. help me here. The, the question is, do you want to do this cool. building action? Do you have any interest in doing that. that? That refreshes guild tiles. I don't need to do that. Right, so if you place a pirate dice, you don't put a square on there. We can so it. let's just do it in C. So I need yeah. to put a three there because it's, it's or, area three. You can use bread to boom put pirate dice as well, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So you have to lose a work Ooh, around the city watch. And then I pay my two wood yeah. to buy two ships. Okay. Um, my little ships. They go off to sell. Yep, where are they going to go? Well, they're going to get. I want them to go. So could, I, could I buy one ship if I wanted? You could. I think there's no problem. You could even buy one ship, move it somewhere, do the thing, and then move it somewhere else, I believe, at okay. the cost of only one wood. But you want multiple ships in the market. So I do. I can't buy three, which is a shame. No. So, uh, this is the place to go yep. here. So, you spend your four wheat and get 12 money. Four wheat. And get 12 money. Okay, no, so ignore just what I said. It's move up to two ships. You can't move one and then move it again. Oh. It's move up to two ships. Okay, and the second ship? Yeah, I really don't know what to do with the second ship. I do have two of these, though. Yeah. But that only gives me eight. Yeah, but that's still eight. Your, just... your other option is that you go to one of the colonies. Oh, oh they could go to colonies? And so, uh, what do I do? I've got one of these. Yes, yeah. you kind of want them to go to the markets because of this. Yeah. And if you are going to score that in round one, having well, one here is six points, and that would be nine points at the end of round one. I, I, I could score, I don't have to score all three, just two. It's up to three of your ships. And right now, that nine points is better than the That's five you're going to get. Okay, so let's go here. Do you want five money for one or eight money for oh, two? Oh, I've got, uh, yeah, uh, that's a good question, actually. Hmm. Yeah, it does tail off. I've got quite a lot of money. What else use is this? Uh, the only use for sugar is this. Oh, I was getting money then. Thank you. And converting two for one, if you had a surplus of, of sugar. Oh, that's money. What does money do? <laughs> you're going to need that to face it. It's doing very well. <laughs> right. Is it uh, blue's going? Uh, no. Yes, Andy's going. Andy. Yeah, so we've got a couple of pirates left. Guess I ought to use one. Is there any drawback to using a pirate besides not getting the bottom? You action? lose a worker out of the city watch. Yeah, I can probably live with that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, why not? Is there a penalty for using that worker? worker? No. But the player with the most workers in there at the end of the round gets four points. Yeah. Trouble is, I don't really want to put it down there because that's going to stitch me up. I don't. Down where? Uh, there. It would get you five bread. 
Oh no, so you're already pirate, here. Yeah. Oh, you're already here. Yes. yes. That's not doing any favours. Yeah. Um, can I put you, it nope. here? No, nope. nope. that's blocked. The yep. pirates as well. There can only be um, one pirate dice on a character, so you can't put it there either. Yeah. Yep. Well, let, let's suppose I put it here and let's see what my options are there then. Okay. So that is. You can a, harvest for nothing. A harvest for <laughs> a. Because you've no workers in that yeah, region. Yeah, or rearrange, rearrange up to two there. figures in the cities, which can either be yours or the neutral ones. Yeah. Now. Um, the the point scoring for the end of round. Mm -hmm. um, let's suppose I was aiming to score that one. Yep. Which requires me having a majority in the middle row. The majority to get the big point. Yeah. Or just being in there. So yeah. what you could do with the two movements is one. <coughs> problem is if you put that one in, you now don't have majority. Okay. But yeah, you could just say one. Two. As the two movements, and you, you've got the twelve points. Yeah. Um, it means you don't get three other consideration movements. is I've got this coming up later, which is going to allow me to. Oh yeah. Well, everybody's got this. Yeah. So, so everybody that, that is going to be able to put. put well, blue, Andy, you're going to be able to put two people into the cities. Well, there's, there's a two. Because if you've got, if you have one worker in that region. Yep. You get to do the top bit. If you've got three workers in the region, you get to do the bottom okay, bit. Okay, so I can put... You're going to be putting two people into the cities. Um, what happens... I presume if there's no spaces because the neutral workers are there, you can't, can't put them in that region? Correct, yeah. Interesting. So it's fine because at the moment four yes. new workers are going to go into here and there are six spaces. Yeah. So at present, I could get away with having... One worker in there, move a second white thing in, and then put a second worker down in that phase, and I'll still be able to score yeah. this in theory. Yeah. Um, the other thing I might look at doing is suppose I wanted to move one of the white workers into Mark's column to make it extremely <coughs> difficult for him to try and claim the 15 points. Okay. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's valid. That's a possibility as well, yeah. Yeah, not not to be completely mean or anything. You, you've got your ships going on there. It's all going on. But you know, I've got to try and do something. Um, so let's let's suppose I move this one somewhere out of the way over here. Yeah. Maybe. maybe let's, let's move him. Yeah, over there. And and then um, then then we'll move. I don't know that. Right, so I get two moves, don't I? Yes, you can relocate up to two of your own and or neutral citizens, take them from a city spot and move to another empty city spot. Okay, well let's go. He can go here. It is a mini game. Yeah. Okay, <coughs> let, let's just move my guy over there to make things easier later on. So that means now... Um, you get, I'll get two money. Two money. That's it. Yeah, um, so I'm just thinking later on. If if Mark were to be particularly nasty and try and put two neutral people in here to hit to hurt me, we I'll, get, do, I'll get I'll get because yeah. he's got the pirates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got paradise or spare dice. <laughs> uh, you know, not not assuming he might do something like that. Right. Retaliation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But supposing he does, then I can get an extra guy at the end of the round, in the which will go there, and I'll have the majority. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's fine. Just checking. I got that worked out right. So you, in order to get your end of goal thing, you've hurt yourself here but not getting many coins. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> basically. Okay. Right. <coughs> um, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to explain this to me. I'm really sorry because the one Andy's going for, I've got the same thing. Yeah. So tell me what. I'm not looking for purple majority. No, you're looking for. You pick one of the cities. Ah, you pick one and you pick try and get majority cities. in that. Okay. And if you don't have majority, but you're still in there, you get the lower points. Okay. So right now, that for you is five points. Yep. Because the, the neutral player has the majority. Okay, is it my go? Urbanisation. <laughs> it is your go? It's right. a long go, Andy. Yeah. So it's a lot to think about. Planning, yeah. <laughs> With the two, mm -hmm. so what I'd like to do is either build some ships and come here. Right. And sell my yeah. four thingies, because I've got 14 and then loads of points. Yeah, that's probably your best move. Okay, or um, 
I want to be able to get people into here. You need to remove that one, Nicky. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do the boat thing. Yeah, I mean, getting people into here by choosing this action and then moving them mm -hmm. here is great, but at the end of this round, you're going to score one of those two tiles. Mm -hmm. And you don't have much money. No. Nope. So. And you're going to have even less two. once we've done the building actions. So okay. you have to spend a bread to make it a three. Yeah. And then... Because it's in region three. Yeah. And then you need a wood for a boat. Two wood. Two wood for two boats. And where are the two boats going to go? Um, yeah, past the wood river. <coughs> the wood. Just keeping things tidy, that's all. Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing I'm going to put one here. Yep. For 14 money. And if I put one there... Mm -hmm. You get either of these two bonuses. Okay. And also, in the future, if any of these people land here, I get bonus You'll get points. points. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to there is another, not, another rule I haven't mentioned. Not go for instantaneous gratification. Is that right? Put it there. Put it there. So that costs you four sugar, mm -hmm. and that costs you one grape. Four sugar, 14 doodads. Oh, it is wine. It is actually wine. So yeah, four sugar for 14 cash, and one wine, and what would you like as your bonus for that one wine. Do you want to move up on the windmill or do you want to place a worker on a field? Uh, 14. It's going to cost me a bunch of bread, isn't it, in a minute? One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> I, liked, I liked my way of Workers on the board. <laughs> right, okay, seven. Yeah. Um, so... I would love to put another worker on the board, but I think I'm going to run into a bread problem okay. shortly. You can buy bread, can you? No. You, so you have to buy... You pirates. You take pirates, yeah. For each bread you can't pay or don't pay, you get a pirate. Okay, so at the moment, how many bread will I need to pay? Seven. Minus your three, four. Three here? Yeah. <coughs> so I'd get four pirates right now? Uh, you'd get one pirate if you paid all of that bread. Okay, but I want to have bread for here. Yes. So I'd, I'd probably go up on the windmill. I'm going up on the doodah. Yeah. yeah. Okay, back to you, Mark. So what does that cost you? It's my... It's my the wine. Well. It's the bonus for delivering wine to so, Brazil. So I put okay. wine into the... Yep, into the wine to wine. Sorry. So that space Thank for you. taking wine to Brazil is now taken? Oh, there, there, there is another one. Yeah. So, um, do you want us to put his red tokens What's out? the significance of these... Uh, that's what the colonists produce in <coughs> phase D.2. Okay. Need to put your red tokens out. Yes. Right. Okay, you go. So I could buy another ship, but I've got no wood. So you would, I, you would, you got a lot of you money. would buy the wood that I you can need. do that. Yes. So that's okay. So I could buy a couple of ships quite easily. Go in here as close. I really like to get up the bread. I like the idea of, because okay. from three to four, it's quite a nice little bump. Mm -hmm. So that's that. I could also go here and ship. Can you actually, when you do, can you move them simultaneously? So could you swap them over? No. Okay. So I could go but here and here. Yeah. Or there and there. So I wouldn't have majority, but I would then get that amount of wood. Yeah. I mean, this at the moment is getting you four wood if you do nothing here. Yeah. But I could move things around first, and that's this moving around one. And I've got a two dice, so I could go to one. Yeah. My other two, I could go here, uh -huh. and this allows me to, to buy one of these tiles. Okay. You you better tell us what those tiles. They are. all do good stuff. Oh, I've got. Okay. All right. And this one here allows you to put two workers. I don't want to do yeah. that. Shall I go through some of these tiles? Because you should understand good. the iconography. Yeah. I mean, there is a reference sheet with them all on, <coughs> uh, which is here. Uh, you activate that when you're doing a harvest to do a super harvest. Okay. Uh, this one get three bread. This one get five money. This one move one space up on the windmill track. This one, if I'm doing them out of order, when you're doing a building action in phase C, flip it over to don't to not pay. Okay. So it basically saves you money. Uh, this one lose half your pirates. Oh. This one get two wood. Uh, 
like one of this the one, get two money for each ship you have on a colony at the point you flip it over. This one's interesting. Uh, in phase C, when resolving the buildings, flip this over to treat it as if you had two extra workers in that region. In other words, get the bottom ability instead of the top ability. Okay. If you only had one there. Uh, this one I need to look up. It's the scout. You move one of your workers from any spot, even the city watch, to any other spot. Right, so it, it's move one worker from anywhere to anywhere. Uh, and this one is pay four money to do uh, to place a worker on one of the colonies and then do what you normally get for sending a ship there, but you do it with this tile. So that's what all of those do. Okay, I might do that. Okay, so that's this action. So I'm going to go here, because I look, the reason I want to do this is because I'd like to get a proper token on here, because yeah, that would give me two bread. two bread. So that's my main reason. Okay, so which of those... I want the wall. Okay. But I'd really like to go up the windmill. I think that's a good strategy. So that's, so that's this, this one. It's not too expensive. It's three wood. I've got no wood, so okay, it's going to cost me six nine... Uh, six money, is it? Six money to buy the three wood that you Is have. that a terrible waste of my money? Not sure. Okay. Thanks, Paul. Um, so I'm doing it. Don't need it. Don't need it. You don't need the money. Oh, okay. All right. Now there is a limit on when you can flip those tiles over, which is in phase B, before you place a die or pass. So in other words, you can't flip it over right now. Okay. Okay, because you've just taken your action. Or in phase C, before you pay the cost or receive the pirates. Well, I just had a thought. Is there one that allows me to put a boat right here? Uh, no. Oh, there is in the game, but we've removed four of them at random. Okay. But one of them does allow you to place a boat. I have to get one of these benefits on here, a worker. Uh, to get one of the benefits is that you pay four money, you put a you put a colonist on the thing. Is that a boat colonist or a person colonist? A person colonist. Okay, we've got to pay, all right. Yeah. So that's that one. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. It's probably, it might be good, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I will be able to do that before I come to feed my people. Yes. Brilliant. That's yeah. important thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, blue. Has this broken anyone else's brain? Because my brain is <laughs> yeah. definitely broken. I, I think we just played every time. It's an interesting story. I first learned how to play this game at a 24-hour charity gaming event <laughs> at 3 o'clock in the morning okay. from the rule book. Nice. Yeah, we had, we got one rule wrong. Oh, <laughs> and we played the full game. And I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> we played with 50 rounds instead of 5. <laughs> <laughs> can no, I, I, was, I was taking these tokens off when we were on here. You can. Man, yeah. You put a second thing on here, but you still only get to do it once. Yeah, that's when we resolve it. You get 5 bread. Nice. Yeah. He was going to get the five bread anyway. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. But it makes it so a little cheaper. Harvest or buy a tile. Mm. Now you know what all the tiles do. He's like, oh yeah, let's, let's buy a tile oh, now. I've got my no, people in the wrong place. Maybe on this side. Let's, let's buy a cheap one. I will have. This is this is just five. It's money. just five money. Yeah, that's that's nice and simple. Okay, take that. Take that. So you're done. Yep. Uh, John. You can use the pirate dice or you can pass. If you pass, you get first choice of these. Pass. This is placing another boat. So ah, there, is, there is a way of doing it. Pass. So when you pass, you can either, so you take your disc, mm -hmm. and you either put it on here and get two money. Yeah, don't need that. Or here and get three money, or put a worker into the city and get a point. Here, which is four money, or place a worker into the city watch. And the rule I forgot to mention is every time you place a worker into the city watch, you lose three pirates. Okay. And here is get five money or move a ship. Move a ship? Yeah. Which could be from there to the board. Okay. Or it could be from there to there. <clears throat> right, remind me why I want to do that. Uh, well, you deliver some more wine and get one of the bonuses again. I mean, you can't do that because okay. you don't have any wine. But I'm saying right. moving yes, a ship could uh, be from one space right. to another. Yeah. That's okay. a perfectly legal moving of a ship. As far as I know, that's the way I've played it. Mm. Yeah. There's two choices, I like John, so I don't care. Mm. You won't be worried though. <laughs> which one of the, and remember, when you go on here, we'll determine the order in which you're choosing these. Yeah. Okay, the other thing is, the so the other thing is, 
I don't mind dice with ones on because I've got a chappy over here. Right. Is that right? So I could go. Just go here and get five. Yeah, million. and put. Yeah. No, I don't need. I don't think I need the money. You I've, sure? Well, remember, no, not we're really. about to go into phase C. <laughs> okay. Phase C is going to be expensive. How? What sort of expensive? It will be nine. For you to do this action, yeah. will be nine minus the sum of these dice. Yeah. So that will be on average three. three. Yeah. To do this is going to be probably going to cost you seven. Right. If you want to do it, but you don't actually want to do no, this. No, I don't. No. So forget that. This is probably going to cost you about five to yeah. do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'll take five cash then. There you go. You go there. You take five cash. Mark. So I quite love the idea of putting a person in here. So you may use this ah. before you pass. Oh, I'll if do you that. want to. Oh, well, that means I'm not passing. No, before you pass. Okay, so you I'll use pass. it before any of your turns. It's currently your turn. I'll do this. So you do that. I'll do my job. We're in B, pass. aren't we? We are still in B. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. Bad like worker gonna... into the city wall. Oh, into the city. Oh no, this here. Sorry, this is all I want. I'm yeah. going to put a worker just there. It gives you one point. It would also gives them the majority. Yes, yeah, it gives you one point, which means you're currently winning. Uh, <laughs> even better. Wow, well, so, someone's actually got a victory point. point. <laughs> <laughs> And okay. second, second's not bad, yeah. Uh, Andy, mm. again, you can use your tile before you pass if you want to. I don't think I need to at the moment. Okay. So I'll Sorry. just pass and I will take... Um, do I want someone in the city watch? Yeah, go on then. I'll chuck someone in the watch. Okay, so you put somebody in the watch, you lose three pirates, you don't have three pirates. That is the end of phase B. Okay. Breather. Wow. Phase C. We do this one first. We haven't even done the first round yet. No, we haven't done Come the first away. round. Right, this will go quicker. <clears throat> Less choices now. So, we're doing this character first, because remember, we do the characters... <clears throat> well, we do the, the, the building locations in that order. Okay. Oh, low numbers. Oh, that's so, it's nine minus four. So, it's going to cost you five. The actions here are taken, I believe, in this order, if you're in there. Okay. If a building has at least one action marker on it, you roll the dice, yada yada yada, and following the turn order shown on the passing column of the guild board, yes. Right, so purple, do you want to spend five to take this action, or get one pirate, and not do the action? I think five's quite expensive, isn't it? Five's quite expensive. For you, it would be two bread. Yeah, so that's not very good. So you could just take a pirate. I'll take a pirate. Okay. That's really sure. Andy. Pay five to, for you to get five bread. Um, I'm not sure if that's good value or not, so I'll do it anyway. Okay, so you pay five money and you get five bread. <coughs> for you, I think it is. So I, I'm, I'm kind of committed to that. Five money for five for bread seems yes. to be nice. <coughs> Next character. Statistically, it should have been less. Oh, right. It cost one. Oh, look at that. So, Mark, do you want to spend one to do the action, or take one pirate? Do you know what? I think I might have spent <laughs> one. And the action is to take one of people is... from here, well, no, take one of your people yeah. from anywhere, anywhere yeah. and put it into one of the cities. Into one of these cities? Yeah, and get one point. I could take it from anywhere. Except the city one. So why would I not take it from my stock? Be at this stage in the game, you probably would. But later on, once they're oh, all on the board, of the, uh, you've already got this. 12. You've already got 12 workers and you've got bread cost as well. But it's still wise to do. So, is there any point having lots in here? Would I take that actually get loads of wood? Right. When you take that action, you get loads of wood if you have access to wood. Yes. So let's say you had all of your workers were in here. Yeah. And you're going to get 17 wood. Yeah. You get five. You can't get any more. Oh, unless I go into the infinite Correct. space. Yeah. You've got to have the wood to be... This wood doesn't come from the supply. It comes from somewhere where you have access to it. And this is going to give me money if I go here. And that's going to I mean, the, the, the most efficient use of the city is having a, a worker in each, because then when you choose that action, everything produces. Oh, I see, okay. It isn't just one city that produces, it's all of them. So I'm going to go for bread then. Okay, and you get a point. Yay, I'm still winning. Uh, Andy, would you like to spend mm. one money <laughs> to place a worker into one of the cities? Mm. Two workers, isn't it? Cause I've got oh, yeah, because you've got three in here. You get to place two <coughs> workers, and you get three points. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Score yourself. And um, I'll, I'll try exactly what she suggested and have a guy in each place. Okay. John, are you going to spend more money? So I now yeah, can't go in there, can I? 
I'll put well. another one in here. No. Then. No. Buttocks. Santa Porto is full. Porto Santo. Is full. Did you have my point? I did. You got you three points together. Took me. So Excellent. these points here are right basically use. every time you put a worker into the city, it's one point, and every time you put two workers in the city, it's three. So you see that yeah. everywhere. Those things time. <coughs> and by placing a worker in here, I get wood. You will get wood whenever you Ooh, choose to if, activate the cities, as long as you are in an area that has wood. And he gets one for his and for each neutral worker. Two for your own. Okay. And one for each neutral worker. And that's the same for all of these. Right, so that's that done. Over here. How much did that cost me? One. One, yeah. Did I pay it? Do we want to... I think you did. Okay. No, I, I don't. Did. No, I didn't. Okay. <coughs> we'll watch the video later. <laughs> uh, we don't need to roll there because nobody's got a disc. Uh, nobody's got a square. Right, here. This isn't good for you. Oh. Right. Oh, that's not too bad. So it's pay six because it's nine minus three. Yeah. Pay six to do the action, mm. which for you does nothing. Mm -hmm. Or take two pirates, because it's one plus yeah, the sum of the blood. Pirates. You take two pirates. Jim lad. And here. <coughs> oh, there you go. Get. So pay three to do the action or take one pirate. The action is. Uh, for you, in this area, would be to place one worker into the city watch. It's two, isn't it? No, you've only got two. One, two, three. I'm purple. You're purple. Sorry, keep thinking you're red. Two into the city it watch. Would be two into the city watch. That would get me. It would lose you six pirates. <laughs> That's a bit fortunate. It'll get you a bunch of points, but, though. But I'm going to end up paying for... Yeah, you'll have to feed them. These. Yeah. Every worker on the board requires fed. Requires food. Is it still worthwhile putting these out, or should I start moving off places? I, I, if I was in your position, I probably just would take the one pirate. Rather than put uh, two things? Yeah. Really? I, th I, I think so, because that's two things that you're going to have to feed. We could win this. I, I'm not sure you will, because I think John's going to put one in there. And there are three Because each. I know John's got two pirates. And then we've got three each. Yeah, so nobody will get the bonus. So you're denying John getting the four points, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the benefits of you putting two in there is it denies John the four points. You'll lose that one pirate. You've got more workers in here, so you can use more pirate dice over future rounds. The disadvantage is you're going to have to feed them this turn. Why do you get... Uh, why does that have more than use more pirate dice? Every pirate dice you use, you have to lose a worth. Of course. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to... I've already paid my money, so I'm going to move one over there. And I'm going to do one just there. Okay, that means you don't have a majority here anymore. Oh, flip. <laughs> okay. Where's that one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to be pirate. Yep. Oh, thanks for your advice, Paul. It's all right. <laughs> Are you going to pay three money... To place a worker into the city watch, you would lose your pirates and you would deny Mark getting the four point bonus. You don't get points for placing them in there, do you? No, you lose pirates for placing them in there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so it's three money. Pop that in there, lose three pirates. Um, that is that character done. So that's phase C. Wow. Right, phase D. It's a tie for majority, so nothing happens. Colonies. There's nobody on the colonists, so there's nothing produces. Ships. Everybody must pay one wood per ship they have on the board. Mm. Or take a pirate if you don't want to pay or cannot pay. Three so money. You could pay three money to buy this two wood. Mm. That's what I've just done. Yeah. Rather than taking the pirates. Um, yeah. Right, so I'm paying three money. Sorry, it's your turn, Andy. Apologies. I got no bags. Okay, I'm paying three money to take. You're doing the same. You're paying wood. money. So I take it off my stacks, right? The, the stacks. Stack. Remember what I said at the start about don't be worried about taking pirates early on. Okay, but I've decided I'm going to go for wood. Okay. So one. Everybody's really scared of the pirates. And then one. Yeah. Upkeep, okay, discard one wood. Uh, you may buy the wood if you need to and you have access to it. And it's important to do this in turn order because you may be buying wood from the fields. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Feeding your workers. So every worker you have on the board, and sometimes it's easier to just count what you've got in front of you. Mm -hmm. It's 12 minus that. So you have 10 on ten, the board. Mm -hmm. Four paid for. So you have to pay six bread. So I'll take six pirates. 
Six, six pirates, yeah. Six pirates. Yeah, I might as well play my six bread. Okay, and John, how many workers you got on the board? You got nine on the nine. board. You got four windmills, so you need to pay five bread. I'll take five pirates. You need to take five pirates? Okay. Other chocolate bars could be purchased. Um, yes. <laughs> Right, it is now phase E. Everybody scores one of their crown requests. So you score that one and you get 15 Flip points. In. Flip it over, done. Nice right, so right. This one for 12. 12 points. Puts me actually 15 in total. And how much are you spending? 15? Mm -hmm. 15, done. How many so points? Turn 15? this over. Yeah. And that's it, that is the end of round one. So to celebrate <laughs> the end of round one. Look at that. No, no. Hey. We have some, <laughs> have some Madeira cake. We have some Madeira cake. <laughs> so we excellent. Not out the Celebratory Madeira cake. Thank you very much. At the end of round one, we have I have spoons so we can be all civilized like, um, and we can chat about any rules that are not quite. Uh, Thank you. Clear at this point. Simple enough. I'm doing all the fuss at the back. Because of the because of the graphical player mm. aid. I, I think you just follow that. It's all on there, everything you do. Yeah. But yeah, B and C are the, are the real decision points. That's where that's where stuff happens. It's okay. fascinating how it's all interlocked. And it's yeah. fascinating how these move around. And then you've got the whole decision about numbers. Can I check the dice? It's not the highest number dice here. Nope. Yep. Yeah. I, I'm going to roll a set and put it there. Roll a set and put it there. But I get to go first there. because I'm at the top. You will get to choose which Pick. row you want first. So I would really like all the threes to be at the top. So yeah, and um, we'll set up for the next Assuming round. You want the top right? Mm. Because of, I want one of these. As I say, as the game goes on, the choice of these will diminish. When you use the ships to fulfil these things, yeah. how do you know which ships you've used? You just say that one, that one, and that one. So the next turn, if I've got another one of those, you could use the same. Ah, on the same turn you can't. Right. Not on the same turn. Yeah. So we're not going to be doing end of round scoring. Nope. There is no crown request at the end of round two. All that happens at the end of round two is, if this is uncovered, sorry, if this is uncovered, it changes from wheat to sugar, and there's one over there as well, I think. But what you are doing is you're taking a crown request in round two, which you're going to probably score at the end of round three. Uh, so, low value pirate dice, that was a one. So, top row. Now, who's got a thing that was unused? See, I, I'd have been tempted to use your favour tile. I'll let you change your mind if you wanted to. Uh, what is the benefit in using it? Because if you choose either this row or this row, you'll get to flip it back over for free. Ah, right, okay. In that yeah, case, so yes, we'll, we'll say you did it. Oh, so I would be... You will get to flip it over only if you choose the top row. Okay. But I get the end. So we have a 3-2-2 two, two at the top. 3-2-1 in the middle. So I guess in this setup, because of the three players, the white and the blue are slightly weaker because they're harder to, yeah. to flip over. So this cake is dense, cloying, but ultimately satisfying. Madeira. Madeira. <laughs> <laughs> yes, John brought four different varieties. Of yes, Madeira we're, having, we're having one slice of a different cake, cake every turn. Every turn. <laughs> It'll be lemon Madeira next turn. Right. So, what other ways can you flip these over? And you do that when you build, of course. The building action of that particular character, or that particular location, is you flip over one or two guild tiles, depending on how many workers you have in that region. Do we, do we repurpose our coloured tiles now? Uh, yes, you get these back. Yeah. Right, so, any rules questions that you want me to go over again? Because uh, I think... I've covered everything, including yeah. the bits that I forgot so slightly. It, it's the numbers on the dice. When you put the dice on your characters, yep. you have to put the number of the zone that the the region that the character's in. Yes. You can change the number up or down. By, uh, you by don't need to change bread. it down. Sorry. Uh, by playing a bread. Yes. Okay. 
and the limit of dice on a character is three, because it's a three-player game, yeah. one of which could be a pirate dice, yeah. but still only a limit of three. Okay. Well, I should have all my baskets, all my eggs in one basket of three. So I'm going to have to go with that one or that one. Uh, have, yeah. Having this chap here means that, I, unless it moves, it can't be displaced and I can always get 14. No. No? No. Every you only turn. get the 14. He's now sat there in port doing nothing. Right. You don't get the 14 every turn. Okay, if I had four uh, sugar, yep. I would. No. Okay? It's blocked it. You only get to deliver it when you place a ship on that space. Okay. So if you could had... I, could I do this then? If you had five sugar, yes. Yeah. Okay. So if you had four sugar and a grape, what mm -hmm. you'd do is you'd use the grape to move that to there and the four yeah. sugar to move yeah. that yeah. to there. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So, I want to take the top row because I get here first. Mm -hmm. And it's two twos of three. Yeah. Presumably you choose white. I'm going to choose white, which means... You flip that over. I flip that over. And you choose one of those. This is not very good at the moment because I've got lots of those. Remember, you're not scoring at the end of this round. Yeah. So you've got two more rounds to collect more of these guild tiles. And it's different ones, or every one. Each is a different, different face-up. Yeah, each different colour. And this one's got to be doable. So, OK, well, let's go for this one then. OK. Handy. Uh, middle ray. Middle row, three, two, one. So you choose presumably red to flip over your yep. guild tile. Which <coughs> of the crowned request would you like? Um, okay, I don't think I'm going to be delivering that. I've already got one of those. Probably not good much. Let's take one of these again. Where's the super harvesty guy now? He's here. Sadly, he's in the same region again, which is not what I was hoping for. He always moves one space clockwise. Okay. The others are random. Remind me how I ended up with four sugar last time. I had one from the start. You, you had one start, from the start. I got three from yeah, the when you did the super harvest. So you can get three this turn <coughs> quite comfortably. Mm. Yeah, I would probably recommend not taking another money one. Mm. I want Maybe one that supports me having things there. There is one. I'm afraid. Okay. All right. I mean, you could and aim to score that one in round three and that one in round five. Okay, I can't, couldn't score both in round three with You could, I, if you have 30 money, that would be great. Right. Okay, uh, what's the little gold one? This is for having ships in the colonies. You score okay. up to three of your ships in the colonies. Okay. And you have a ship here, which, if you scored it in round three, is worth six points. So, yeah. yeah, that model might be Okay, all right, we'll take that one. Take that one. Right, so that's phase A done. Phase B. Right. So turn order in phase B mm. was the same as... Thoughts. In A. The pirate dice aren't very good. No. No. I've got one three. I think I want to collect lots of wood, so I'm going to get... Four for my two, and I get it two for You're the one. So that's six. six wood. So that's, and I'm also at the same time going to get one bread. Three bread. Three bread. And if I manage to get something in here, you get money as well. I get money as well. Um, in which case, that's the action that I want to take. <clears throat> this one. Yeah, and it's only a two, which is more helpful, and it allows me to put more people out here. So yep. that's not bad. <clears throat> Okay, so, so I get to move two things around. One to two things can move around. Um, now, how many wood are you actually going to be able to get? You're only going to be able to get four wood. So I want to move out some of those whites then. Or one of your own. I'd really like to get another bread into here. How, much, how many bread can you get? As many as you like. Yeah. So I could do this and this. You could. That would be four bread and four wood. Yeah. Or you could... Where was it? Yeah. Or you could do that. Okay. And three bread, two money, and four wood. Oh, okay. So, in fact, I could do... Can't move other people's. Oh, no, you can't, can you? Yeah, that does seem to be better, doesn't it? So, I'm going to get my four wood. 
So one, two, forward. three, four. Yeah. To build more ships. Too many. Too many. Which I haven't caught three bread. And three bread, which I think is a thing that I would really like. Right, so you know what I said about wood running out? <clears throat> it's happened. Already. So if you need wood now, you can, you can, yeah, you, you can't buy it because you, you've nowhere to buy it from. Ah, could I take one fewer wood if I wished? What, and move that there? Yeah. Yep. Ah, but somebody else, but... Yeah, somebody else might so, take. But well, there's wood there. here, yeah. so at the moment I'm safe. So okay, I'll, so you get extra money. <clears throat> I'll take enough extra money instead on, yep. that, on that basis. Thanks, that's helpful. One of your squares. Uh, yes. And just put one of your squares on here. Uh, uh, sorry, on there. And then Andy. Same kind of thing. <laughs> I'm not copying, honest. I did. <laughs> um, so, right, do you so want to move? So you're already in all three cities. So I can get five wood at most. <coughs> yeah. Four. So I get three in there at the moment for me and a neutral, isn't it? Yeah. At the moment, you're getting three bread, three money, and three wood. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Okay. The wood. Two bread, two money, five wood. Yep, and that. Right, wow. So five wood. <laughs> uh, two. I don't know if I've ever seen a game go like this. It's interesting. And. We might be bread. coming up with a brilliant new game. You tactic. might. Oh, just not one that I've seen yet. <laughs> I'm just being rubbish. <laughs> it's quite nice because we actually, none of us have got any idea what no. we should be doing. No. It's, it's a bit sandboxy at the moment, in that sense. <clears throat> John, where do you want to go? Right, so... In this world? Yes. The world of cities. Nothing gives me sugar. Uh, no. Yeah, harvesting yes. them... So, but nothing in city world gives me sugars. No. Uh, I need wood. And Don't I, we all? And I want to reveal... Now, if, that, if that's revealed... If that's revealed at the end of round four, that plantation will change into wine. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and... Yeah, you've got access to one, two, two three. three. There's four wood yeah. that you've got access to, yeah. so... Okay, so let's do that. Let's make one... Okay, one so again, you, you do the same things that they've done. Put a two on there. Well, sorry, okay. I don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Right. But again, there's two dice on there. If you really want to do this action this round, you need to do it now. Okay. Because I was one of these two might do it again. It until I saw everyone else doing it and thought I might be missing <laughs> it. <laughs> it's an easy way of getting forward, I guess, but it is an action. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's other things to, to do. do. Right, in fact, so... I want. I probably want to use that to harvest wood instead. Actually, can no, I do that? This one. Yeah. You can. But you're going to get that wood anyway. anyway. You okay. can't harvest right extra wood because yeah. there's only okay. one there. So you would get one sugar and one wood. Right. And then, if you chose that, you'd get an extra two sugar. In the next phase. Uh, now, wait. If you, if you chose to use this yeah, character, that's what I'll do. Okay. So you're going to have to put a three on it. Yeah, which is bread. Yeah, so a bread and a two. Uh, could I have two bread back, please, sir? Here. And you're going to put it in the corner? In the sugar yep. corner. So you get this wood here, mm -hmm. and three sugar for here. Okay. Sorry, guys. If you move the board this way a little bit, I'll have these a little bit closer. Is there any other way of me getting sugar before the boat phase thing? Only by trading two resources for one, if you had other resources. Okay. So, no. Right. Uh, back to Mark. So, I'm wanting to buy some boats. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get my bread up again. So that would need going here. So I need, I need two grapes for that. I've only got one currently. Why would you need two grapes? Oh, there's another space. There is another space. Ah, Let's pop that on space. that space. Okay, all right. right. Yeah, there's two spaces that only need one wine. And I could also, so maybe I should harvest first, because if I harvest, I will end up getting... Even more stuff. Even more stuff. Yeah. Um, and this will be... And then I could use my boat to go there, 
So I think that makes sense. Okay. So the harvest man is... The harvester is here? Is yeah. here. Ooh, is someone's supposed to put a second down? He's a three. I've got a three. There you go. Uh, and I'm going to go for the, down the wheat route, I think. Or oh, no, I don't want to do grapes. Grapes yeah, might I mean, be don't forget, better. Two wheat that can push you up on the windmill, if that's what you wanted to do. Ah, no, I haven't got any grapes. So that's when can you spend the wheat for that? Uh, any time in phases B, C and D. So I haven't got grapes, so maybe then I need to go... Which is pretty much any time. Sugar. So sugar will give me... Oh, no, we've already got... Sugar's, sugar's already sugar's gone. gone. The, 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 the super sugar gone. harvest is gone. So I talked about wanting more grapes, so I can do that, don't I? What's the point of going there? This is always better than this, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I remember now you said. And two boats can go there. Yeah. Let's do that. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to get... So you get sugar for this one. Sugar for that one. You get three wheat for this one. And you get that wood for that one. And I get that wood. So doing it there was better because I got money by not doing it there. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, and you pop a. I think he's gone there. Uh, yeah, Andy. Um, I am going to use a pirate. Arr. And it's going to go here. Okay. I'm going to use time. the two, but it <laughs> will discourage anyone else from using pirates. It will. So you get to put two workers onto fields from anywhere. Yep, or I'm actually going to take a basic harvest. Oh, right. From well, no, it's a basic harvest in that region. Ah, uh, that, okay. Yeah. In that case, I'll put workers down. Let's, let's max out. Oh, yeah, going for it. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> 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 wow, we've got five workers in that region. Nicely done. Uh, if you do what you do, it's it not that slow a game, is it? It's yeah. It can zip yeah, along. I mean, our first game was a long time. Yeah. <laughs> we were learning it's, from the rules. And it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It's lovely. There are so many little interconnected things. I mean, I... I before I was professionally involved with Watch Your Game, I've said this is my favourite game of 2013, okay, right. and it's one of my top five games of all time. I, I, I just think the game's fantastic. But do you think what else is quite nice about it is, is that you can play it without being that good. So you could teach somebody who's not particularly yeah. good at games, and they can play they it. They can do stuff. And they would do stuff. Yeah. You, you can't get completely stuck, especially if you've got somebody who's just saying... The only thing that you can get caught out is in the last round when you're having to score three yeah. of your tiles. One of your tiles mm. might be worth nothing. Yeah. But that happened to me the last time I played because it was just, you know, it was hard to get all of those interlocking things together. Right, so I'm so, allowed, so if I go here this turn. Yep. Play my one. Yep. And put my square on. I get to place two peeps. Two peeps onto any fields. Or. No, 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 that's, that's the building that's action. Okay, so we'll do that later. Okay, so I'm going to put one there. Yep. Now, is it time for me to put a man on infinite wood? Is it time? It's a good question. Uh, it looks like I've got some wood resources here. Yeah. So not yet, maybe. Not yet. Now remember, having three workers in a region is better when you're doing the building actions. Yeah. So I was going to go here on the grounds that at some point these are going to flip. This is going to flip to grapes and this is going to flip to sugar. Well, is it, the three workers is only good for... Well, it's good for when you harvest. Yeah. And it's also good for the building action. So, for example, if you had a third oh, yes, worker yes, here... Yes, yes. You'd be doing ah, that. Ah. Yeah, which is what I want to do. Okay. okay. I thought you did. I thought you were yep. to do that. Yep. So. Okay. Um, back to Mark. It is me. I think I'm going to take a pirate, mm -hmm. which I'll take one off of here. Yeah. And I then going to use a bread to make right. him a one or two. A two. Well, I'm going to go here and build two ships. Okay. Which is so two, two new ships. I think so. Okay. So I really want to be able to do, yep. upgrade my bread. I've got one grape. So you send a ship to so there, there, spend the wine. Spend the wine and upgrade my bread. Yep. Don't forget you've also got the woman who can upgrade your windmill. Oh wait, when do I do that? At the start of any of your <coughs> turns. It's the okay. miller. Ah, okay. So now I've got three of these. So that gives me nine money if I so want. Mm -hmm. Well, you have one well, sugar. I could spend two things. Yeah. I mean, if, you, if you're going to score it in round three, being in here is worth six points as opposed to four points. Now remind, okay, I'm going to have to, oh yes, because for this. Yeah. 
So yeah, that, that's that's sixteen points for you. If you keep if you put that ship here, or here or here, and leave those three ships there, and then score that at the end of round three, that's sixteen points. Yeah. Why? Because uh, that's round three. That's four yeah. points. Yeah. So does it matter which one I go in of these? Yes. <laughs> Do you need that wheat for anything else, and do you need the money for anything else? Um, I don't really need either, but Remember, more likely to need two wheat can up you on the windmill. But but my concern is I'm going to get to the top of the windmill quite quickly because I've got this, so I'm going to be at six. Okay. So I could get a seven. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I'm going to be able to redo that one at some stage. There's no point spending wheat on it. Okay. Do we know which order these uh, characters move? Will this, no. will this the, be the harvester always moves one space clockwise. Okay. Other than that, the money I'm going for. Random. I'm spending the whole shebang. And you paid two wood to build the two boats. Did. So you've now got four boats in the game. Yes. Okay, Andy. <clears throat> I might regret this, but let's, let's see what happens. I'm going to spend a bread. Yeah. Turn this into a city and do a basic harvest on this region. Wow. <laughs> so you've used two of the pirate dice this turn. I have, yes. There you go. So basic harvest in this region, you get one wheat. Yeah. You get two wine. You get this wood. And you get sugar. Your people are working hard in the fields. No, the pirates are. The <laughs> <laughs> Commandeered the pirates. Then there's a change. Uh, John. How do I uncut? How do I un get use these two wood? Is there any way of doing that right now? Um, well, you can buy it if you need it, or you can harvest it, or if you activate this city, you can take it. Remind me how I activate the city. That's you can't. Okay. But that, that would have that action. Okay. Or I want to sell my sugar. Which requires me doing a swap or armor of these. Is that right? No. I'd have to move into Wheat World, would I? No. To... No, sorry. I need wine to be able to... Yeah. And you, if you really need wine, you, you remember you can convert two things into one. Mm -hmm. So if you were desperate, you could convert two of that sugar into a wine. Oh, right. So I could do that as a sorry. Hang on. Using the ship here thing. Yep. Yeah. Two, two. That's fine. I yeah. could move. You could one ship here. Yeah, but you, yeah, you could just move that to there and get right. through and get get eleven money. Yeah. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. So I'm thinking ahead. Yep. Soup, the super harvest ends up here next turn. It will, yes. If that's exposed, I would get two sugar there. Uh, one normally. One normally. Extra two if you did that. Right, so that would be three. Yep. <laughs> right. Um, no, I'll just, it's, it's tricky because you're not scoring anything at the end of this round. Yeah. And it's like, ah, right, you know. So you're doing. Oh, stuff of course. Some of the things for the next cash. round. Yeah. So the so it doesn't matter how much cash I get. I'm not going to flip this, this round, over. No, right. You okay. are not scoring a tile at the end of this round. Right. So. But next round you will be scoring two tiles. Okay. So I want boats then. The, so this boats, sorry, boats just in Brazil. Me. Yeah. Is for good. you for the end of next, next round, round is, is good. good. Okay, let's do that. Boats in Brazil is always good. So yeah. That's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> and in fact, the more you have this round, because yeah. you're going to be sending, at people, the end of this round, yeah, two people to Brazil. The, you've reminded me of my plan now, so I'm going over here then. Okay. We're going to do... So, two boats. Two boats. New boats or existing boats? New boats. It's going to mean I'm going to have to pay wood. Yeah. It means I'm going to be able to clear that off yep. later. You boats are a bit uh, Have I got another? Oh, yeah. I've got wood over here. There's a wood there, yeah. And wood there. I'm going to need four wood, aren't I? To to pay for my four boats. Yes. Which is ten silver. And I've got access to it at the moment. Yeah. Until he stuffs me out. I think paying ten money for four wood is 
I'd, I'd, I'd be taking the pirates. Okay. But you can only take the pirates for the upkeep. You can't take pirates as the building cost. Right, so there we go. I'm going to play two boats and I'm going to put them... So that costs you two wood, one of which you've got. Yeah. And you've got to buy the other one. Or pirate. No. Nope. No. No. Building ships... Oh, you, you can, can buy it from there. You can buy it from there, there oh, or there. Okay. Which one? Does that reveal all sugar? No. I'm missing a token from here, from somewhere. Yeah, who went here? I think you did, Mark. Boats? No, no put my two tokens out. I've had two tokens and a... I've got, oh, did you pirate? Yeah. Who's this then? Who did the boats? Is this you just now? Oh, I definitely did boats. Oh, maybe that is me then. Yeah, but you did the but boats. You got, you got, I got a dice left. So yeah, yeah. Can't be right. Unless you put one down when you did a pirate. There you go. Done. There we go. That's me. And right. Yeah, that's my pirate. So now, <coughs> you were saying so not having lots two. of boats in Brazil is a good thing. So you're going to need the wine. And I'll get wine? <laughs> not this turn, you did it next you're turn. You're going to have to convert two for one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's or harvest beforehand. You can, but there's no. Uh, right, uh, uh, right, okay. So I can't. Could I go. So what am I doing with my boats then? Is it pointless to have them this turn? I can get 11. So you could. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, getting in Brazil, because Brazil's already got these in, mm -hmm. it's, it's two wine and then three wine. So Brazil's so, already quite quite busy. So uh, I, don't, I don't have wine, so my tactic of putting as many boats in here as possible doesn't work at the moment. At the moment, no. Right. So. Yeah. You're gonna to have to get some wine. And as I say, you could, you could convert this three sugar in this one wheat into two wine. You could, and then that would allow you to go there. And what do I score on that? Uh, well, do I get any money for doing that right no. now? Money's in the bottom. Yeah. So I'm. <clears throat> or you could send your ships here instead. But again, I don't have any wine, so I'd have to convert money. these. Yeah. Do do do. Oh, this is hurting. Right. Sorry guys, I will I will turn this into <coughs> I'll turn that into the wine. Okay. Um, and I've got a spare ship. Yes, yeah, so you, you actually take that back. Okay. Because you can only play. But you, you don't have to spend the wood. I still have to spend the two wood there, right? No, no, no. Because you, you didn't build that. Okay. Thing, so we'll take the wood back. Uh, well, no. Take, it was on here, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. The wood was there. <coughs> yeah. You get the money back. Right. Okay. So you get one money back. Yep. So you didn't have to buy the second one. Yeah, okay. Don't forget your money, John. <coughs> For what? One money? Because you didn't buy the second one. I did, I took, that. I took it back. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. And, because you've been to Brazil, you get either that or that. Put one person into the field. Or go up on the... Up the windmill. Bread tree. If you want to get wine and one person in the field, what would be a bad idea for I you? Love yeah. him. So you can't buy wood if you have wood. I You've got to use what ah, you've got yeah. first. I love the tension of all your decisions in this game. Mm. It's very cool. So I've got wine here. Done it. He That's done it. In. Right. In for infinite wood. Back to now. Okay, so I'm going to use my two, which is my plan all along, so I didn't have Okay, the Viking last yeah. turn to go there. Two more boats? Nope, change oh. my mind. <laughs> get out the, no, it's not get out the bread okay. Okay. sorry. Yeah. It's not where I wanted to go. It's here I wanted to go. So I need to upgrade that to a three. That yep. was it. <clears throat> okay. Pop the square on Pop and square. harvest or buy a guild tile. So I'm going to buy a guild tile. Which guild tile would you Right, have? so this one yep. means that when I do a harvest, yep. You flip it over and get an extra two of one of the resources that you were going to get anyway. And this gives me three bread. That's just three bread. Um, where is it? The engineer. You can use this before you choose to place a dice. If you use the harvest action, you get two more goods from your fields. Oh, you can harvest two different fields again, or one field one uh, one field twice more. Oh, get it. Oh, get it. plus two. It, it's two extra goods. <clears throat> That's quite powerful then. So I'll take that, and that's going to cost me two wood. Yes. Could I have? Which I'd take that one now. Okay. Andy. I'm going to go boating. Okay, two boats. Two wood. 
Where are you going? Oh, mm. first foray into the waters, aren't yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, it's all getting a bit expensive. Brazil looks good. It's good to Brazil. It's got his water wings on. Brazil does look a bit expensive for my It is. It's that upgrade in the bread that was nice in Brazil for Two wine. Two wine, and you get two of those bonuses, or the same bonus twice. Well, I'm lacking on people in here, <laughs> so... Yeah. So remember, every time you put one in there, you lose three pirates. And yeah, nobody's really got done well with those. I kind of wanted more pirates, but I haven't been able to get them. <laughs> Which is why I wanted to go here, so when I've got my many, I can get rid of my six pirates. Uh, can I, I, can, I can have one of each of those bonuses. Yep. I'll just stick one dude in here, yep. and I'll take five, five money. Okay. Did you have a question? Yes, I... I didn't get to trigger one of these each, did I? Because this one was here. Correct. The first time. You, you got one when one, you put that there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Shall we go again? Except Golly. you pass. Yeah. Hey, you've no done the work. Can I pass really. two? Oh, so, you so, pass. So when you pass, mm. choose one of these. Oh, Which that's, one? That's a delicious one? choice as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And you can pass with actions in hand? Yes. Mm. And you could put a worker in the city watch, you would lose your mm. pirates, it would definitely give you the majority. Mm -hmm. I think it would give you the majority. Mm -hmm. oh, maybe not. This. No, maybe not. I'm thinking... But yeah, it depends which of those you want to do. Yeah, I'm thinking that... I want to, as I said, I want to reveal wood here. Mm -hmm. So having somebody in the city to help me do that? Uh, in the wood city? Well, that's only when you activate the city, which isn't oh, going to happen okay. yeah, until, until the next round. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to stay where I am. Stay where you are where? Stay on that road. This one? Yeah. And have five money? Because uh, you can't build a boat. Yes. Okay, so five money. Mark, you're passing. Did you I'm want passing. to use any of your characters before yeah, you Yeah, I'll pass? do this one. Yep, so you move up on the windmill. To go up on the windmill. Uh, which of these three spaces would you like? Um, so having more in here allows you to have greater majority. And get more stuff when you activate the cities. Yeah, you get two more stuff, don't you? If you've got the facility. But bread's always open, isn't it? You can always have as much bread as you like. And money. money. Yeah. So let's go here. So you choose this one? For three money. No, no, no. <coughs> no, it's three Oh, million. sorry, yep. Yeah. All, All of yep, yeah. sorry. And that gets you a point. Yay! Okay. Andy, you're still going because you've still got dice left. Yeah. <coughs> so let's see, we're starting to run low on wood, so let's let's go here. And I'll stick a guy in. Final there. two workers. And the other one in here. Okay. And then are you going to use your guild tile before you pass? I should, I suspect. Okay, which do you want? Two money in going first? Or the other one? Uh, I'll, I'll have the two money in going first. Two money in going first. Right, okay. So that is phase B done of round two. So now we're going to phase C, where Paul gets to roll the dice. So we do this character first, or sorry, this building first. Okay, so it's going to cost five money to do the action, or you take two pirates. So, Andy. Uh, no, not that I'm going to take some pirates this time. Because <clears throat> you have been, you need them for this, don't you? Uh, you well, always yeah, need them I, to pay. I don't have any, uh, any pirates, <clears throat> okay. so we'll take some. So you got two pirates. Yeah. Uh, John, did you want to pay five money to take the bread? two bread? No, I'll take a pirate. So you take two pirates. So it's one plus what's there? Yeah. So, so okay. Yeah. And Captain, two bread, please, gentlemen. No, no, no. It's it's you either pay the money to do the action. Oh, sorry. Or take pirates. <coughs> no, I'll, I'll pay the money. So it's five money to take two bread. Yeah. Oh, oh Jesus! This is expensive. Right. So Andy, seven money or take four pirates. Oh crap. Ouch. That wasn't supposed to happen. I'm going to take pirates. Mark? Four pirates is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Seven money. Seven money. To put out one man. I'm taking four pirates. Horrendous, isn't it? It was terrible. My day's ruined. Blame me for rolling the dice. <laughs> 
Right. Oh, that's a shame. So it's, Which was this? it's four money or four pirates. So four money for the action or four pirates. I'm not even there. I think I'll spend <coughs> the four uh, money. Uh, <coughs> yeah. And yeah. that lets me move. Let you put one person onto a colony. Yeah. And I get points of it. If there? you send them to the Azores, then you will get two points because you have two ships yeah. there. Well, I guess. But that will only harvest me of wheat in a minute, won't it? Yeah. Which is not necessarily useful. Oh, that means you just send people there. I'm missing out on that because I'm that, that action. Yeah. Okay, let's let's send this dude because he's not doing anything. <clears throat> so you're doing the action, so it costs you four money. Uh, yep. Uh, do I want two victory points or do I want to be able to get some wine in a minute? Uh, let's go for him. This I think it's useful. John, he's spending the four money on this. Yeah, I am. So you get to send two people. Mm hmm And if you send them to Brazil, you get four points. Mm-hmm. So I just hang pop yeah. them here, right? And where's the other um, one coming from? I oh, don't everywhere. so uh, yeah. I'm gonna not be in two. <clears throat> so you get four immediate victory points for doing that. Remind me why? Uh, each colonist gets one point for each ship that was at the colony when it arrives. Because they have a big party. Brilliant, okay. <clears throat> right then, that's that done? This one? Yeah, it's going to be expensive. So it costs five <coughs> to do the action. And that action is the one I can't remember. That action for you, because you've got three workers there, would have been flip over two guild tiles. Okay. Or I take no pirates. Or one pirate. It's always one plus one the sum of the black dice. When can I do this again? When can you flip it back? If I was to flip it now, here and, uh, and sorry, here. If I was oh, to flip it now, it? could I activate it again? At the start of any of your turns, this here is where you're about to take another turn. So I could do it again then? Yeah. Okay, so I will spend how many money? Uh, five. Oh, well, one part. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or take the pirate up. Yeah. Wait, it's, it's five to do the action, or one pirate and not do the action. I'm going to take a pirate. Okay. And John? <coughs> you taking a pirate? Good, sneaky as well. Yeah. yeah. You, you don't have any guilt. Yeah, no, no, yes, definitely. And I'm also hoping to be get rid of some pirates because of this so thingy. You take a pirate? So it's always a pirate, even if there are no pirates there? It's one. Yeah. one plus <coughs> that's not right. Finally. That's not fair. <laughs> right. This costs you seven to do the action. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay. Well, you want that one? Well, that was my whole point of going yeah. there. Seven. So you put two workers into the city watch. I get four points oh, for that. Oh, Each one will lose you three pirates. Yeah, that, I mean, that was the whole point, really. So that's six pirates gone. Well, lots of pirates. I get points for six pirates. There we go. Six pirates six. gone. Uh, missed that. <coughs> that is... That's why I went there. That is yeah, phase C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So phase D, who has the most workers in the city watch? Wrong. So you remove one of them and get four points. Two, I remove one. I think that's optional. <coughs> I, don't, I think you don't have to if you don't okay, want to. Okay, no, I definitely do. Oh, I was there. So did you move? I moved him, yeah. Okay. Uh, D.2, colonies. So, John, you get two sugar for free, and Andy, you get one wine. I don't like not being in that. Do I, do I always get the two sugar while they're there? Every phase, D. Okay, lovely. Okay, upkeep on boats. No. <laughs> I've got no facilities to get wood. So pirates, then. How many boats you got on the board? Four pirates. So four pirates. Wow. How many boats you got on the board? Three. So you pay three wood. I've got two wood here. Yeah. So I can <coughs> buy two wood for three coins. Yeah. So that goes. Yeah. And then take two, two pirates. pirates. <coughs> it's nice that there's a little engine that says you can do this stuff. It's just going to push your points at yeah. the end. But there's mitigation here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's like, this is a resource. Yeah. Oh, that would go. Right, okay. Well, What's that? Portuguese, they've turned it up, chopped all the trees yes. down. Yeah. Um, That's what happened, wasn't it? Feeding people. Okay. So, you've got 12 workers on the board. You've got 11 workers Ouch. on the board. Off you go. <laughs> so I'm going to take five pirates. Okay. Oh, I've got loads of pirates, guys. Oh, this is yeah. expensive. Is, is this bad, or is this... 
Right, so my dice, so for me, yeah, I want to be good. here. So I'm not worried about rocks okay. changing up my I'm actually, my dice scores. So well, it depends where the characters are. It depends what you what actions you want to do. <coughs> right, so the super harvester I know is going to be He's here, gonna be there. Which is a one. Okay. So I don't need to change up my dice. If you want a super harvest, yeah. Super harvest. Right? And I can do the super harvest three times. Oh, I love I could. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're all twelves. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you need 12, 12 workers, five windmills, so you need seven seven bread. Okay, so I've got four. Yeah, you said you're going to pay all four. Yeah. That leaves me three pirates. Three pirates. You've left yourself with no bread. <coughs> Which I only need at this phase if I don't want to alter dice scores. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So phase E. Random pump. What happens in phase E is... Oh, uh, that, this changes. No. That changes. Yes, that, one's now. that one becomes that. That's it. Why not this one? Because that's, that's in the, uh, round oh, four. Oh, okay. Round four. Right, yeah. right. <clears throat> end of round two. Round three. So dice come off. Can we possibly have a brief toilet break? We can. Fantastic. Right, so we're back here on round three. We've tidied up the board, so it's time. Would you mind doing the characters? We've moved on, the harvester. Uh, Boom. Boom. Roll Boom. some Boom. dice. Should Rubbish we? pirate dice again. <coughs> Ooh. Right. I'm not touching the pirates this time. row. <gasps> Rubbish. Terry Blur. Middle row. Yeah. Average. Bottom row. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, I like those. And Andy, you are choosing first. I shall be taking the bottom row. Okay, so you can take the bottom row. Would you like to flip over your red or blue tiles? I'll flip over my red, red tiles. tiles. And which of those three would you like? This one. Okay. Mark, next. So, I really want to go in here. Flip. Is there any other way I can flip this over other than there? Of course. So I'm taking these, I'm really sorry. And I can't score two of those in one go. You can, so they, it would have to be different tiles that you score, but that would be hard. Yeah. Well, I think this is quite nice for me because I can score it this turn and at the end as yeah, well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, look at those dice. Perfect. You said you wanted one though. Perfect. Which yeah. of these would you like? Um, so, what am I scoring right now with this? 12 points, because it's round three. Okay, so I'll take another one of those. Another please. one of these? Yeah. There you go. Right, actions. So, phase B, and it's now clockwise order from John. Right. So, I th so what I'm attempting to do is use a super harvest on sugar. Yep. And get loads of sugar. And get loads of sugar. Yeah. Is that my first, most effective way of getting sugar? Yeah. You get five over there. Over there and hit. Oh no, I can't do it. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I take my one. Yep. Put it there. I put it in the sugar corner. Yep. Which is that one. right? So yeah. You normally would get one, two. So it's not five. It's four, isn't it? Yeah. It's one, two, three, four, and some wine. So four sugar and a wine. Thank you very much. And you put a square on there, and then mark. Okay, so m moving people around, can we provide, this moves people around? That moves people within, the, relocates people within the cities. Ah, okay. And this, is, this is moving people around the fields. Can you move people from this field to this island? Yes. Oh, you can, take a little boat. Yeah. In which case, the first thing I'm going to do is go and buy one of these tiles. And okay. I believe that, that, that is there. I'm going to go here. I'm going to need a two for that. Do I use the pirate two? Let's use the pirate two before everybody else uses it. Okay. So you remove one of oh, the yeah, that's right. from the... Yeah, I'll do that. And then I'm going to take one of these tiles. Which tile is... would you like? Oh, well, I haven't got any wood. No. So you have to buy wood and you've no access to it. So you can't do that. So I can't do that. No. So. Okay, that's not good. Pop that back. Pop your... Put your worker back in there. So I need to. I need to put. Some yeah, here. this is at the point where you need to be in there. Oh, right, sorry, you've got access to one wood, but that's not enough. Okay. So. Oh. Okay. How did I get some wood? Well, it was spent. It, it's I, here. No, I ate it no? a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um. So um, I need to get somebody in there. Mhm. Mm yeah. And I probably need to get somebody in here as well. So that's that action. Yeah. So there's still the two. <laughs> Just in case anybody else wants it. 
and I am going to put one in there and I'm going to move one and I'm going to move this one okay and I'm going to put it over here it's a bit rubbish really wherever I go you don't have to go on that island I don't do I no? yeah I don't so let's go here okie dokie okay done Andy I it's really hard, this game. <laughs> Remember, it's your first game? Yeah, why not? It's like any complex game. Your first yeah, game, right. it's overwhelming, but once you've played it a few times, it's like, oh, you just generated the man. wine. I send a pirate in to get me three wine. Oh, well, I've lost a pirate in the end. Oh, you broke it. Yes. Oh, which means I would have put... Yeah, So, the pirates went and got me wine. Yep. Yeah. Who'd have thunk? Okay. Were you going to do that? Yes. You can still get the plus one, you just can't have the plus two. Oh, so that, that plus one, one of anything, anything that, you that you were going to get. Yeah. So that would give me... It would give you an extra two sugar oh, and right. two grapes. Okay, two so, so then... I if give you, you wanted all that sugar. Yeah, yeah. well, but let, me, let me talk you through my thinking, yeah. right? So that means I've got enough sugar to play around with this next turn without having to worry about sugar. Yeah. The two wine means I can go here. That's three. Oh, plus you mean one. plus... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that gets me something. It does. I could then move this one over here. Oh, you'd move that one first. Yeah, to because seven, to because then that space would be available yeah. and only cost you one wine. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's so that implies I'm going to do some uh, ship movement. Mm -hmm. But you doing another harvest up there right now is is not a bad idea. Yeah. Can I use a pirate to do it? No. Because there's already a pirate dice there. Okay. So, do I do that? Yeah, you put another square on there. And you get two sugar and two wine. Can you pass me two sugar and two wine, please? Okay. Right, Mark. So, uh, harvesting. I want to harvest this. Mm -hmm. So the one I'm going to use is this one here by using this. Is that right? Harvest this row. That's it's like, activating yeah. the cities. But yeah, you can activate the cities or you can activate the row by yeah. harvesting one or the other. Yeah. You probably want to activate the cities. I do. That's what I meant. Um, so three goes there. Yeah. That goes there. Okay. So which two people do you want to move around, if any? That's a really good question. I don't really need all that wood. Don't you? <laughs> when you're going to oh, buy a guild tile. Oh yeah, and I've got to pay for this as well. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, the, but I might as well go for the the bread and the money as well, I think. So what do you want to do? Move these two, one to there and one to there? So you get three of each? Oh, no, well, I think I'd have more wood. I, I, I think just I might just go with... Leave them down there? Yeah, I think I will. Five wood? Yeah, five wood I'm going to go okay. for. Because you've got access to it here, you now just take it from yeah. the supply. So five wood, Two money, two bread. Two Done. Money. These don't get turned over, do they? It's only, no, no, it's no. only those ones. Yeah, you, you can <laughs> remove them from yeah. the game. I'm going to dream about this game, you know that, don't you? <laughs> it's going to be going round around my head all night. <coughs> right, uh, my go to Let's go boating. Uh, and we're playing with both of the original mini expansions. Okay. Well, one of them is the harvester, and another one is some slightly does different tiles. Does it fix stuff, the harvester? Um, no, it just makes that space a bit better. Um, and the new guild tiles gave stuff for the colonies, which were a little bit okay, underused right. in the original game. And I will spend one. No, maybe let's spend. Oh, I could have used that there, couldn't I? To have done. Put a boat mm. there. Oh uh, no, because you didn't harvest. Ah. You activated mm. the cities. And uh, which action is that? Move that is put there. somebody into. Yeah, I do need to get rid of some pirates now. Who can I sacrifice? Uh, I think you, you serve your purpose. Send to do good work. So you lose three pirates. Yep. So what did you do? You shipped, and you. Yep. So you used the pirate dice to ship. Uh, not that pirate dice I used this. Oh, sorry, this that dice. Right and you've put two more ships put, in the assault. I've put one ship in so far. Right. Um, the second one to decide on. Um, 
Now, this this one scores three ships, doesn't it? Three ships. So at the end of round, this round, I would score nine. Correct. There. I could get three more points if I have one over here. So let's. Uh, it would only be one more point. Ah, yes, that's the four of this round, isn't yeah. it? That one would be more, but that costs an awful lot of wine to get in. Full. Hugely expensive. Yeah. Um, what's that? Just three points, three points, and that is... Put somebody into a city and get a point. Hmm, that, that might be worth doing. OK, let's, let's go with that. I'll send someone in here. OK, cost you one wine. And which of the bonuses would you like? I will send someone into a city. Um, chuck him in the uh, the middle city. Okay, and you get a point. <coughs> um, back to you, John. Right. So, um, so I'm really looking to do. I'm in there. I'm really looking to do. Um, I took that bonus. I'm really looking to do two things. <coughs> okay. I'm looking to move boats about. Yeah, which is that one. Yeah. And I'm looking to reduce the number of pirates. Which? That I have, which would involve me moving a human. Well, that, that kind of does it. both. Because the the character action is moving the ships around. Yeah. And then the building action mm -hmm. is putting people into there, which reduces the pirates. Okay. So, I'm going to put that there. So you need a bread for that. Which I don't have. Did try and warn you. Ah. Mm. So, as an emergency, if you really wanted a yeah. bread, you can move down on the windmill to get yeah. one bread. I'll do that. Okay. So you turn that two into a three. Yeah. So I'll pay the bread back. So I don't. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> there. <coughs> put a put a character square on there. Your, uh, yeah. Your sorry, window. I'm just action marker. Smarting. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. And you can move two ships around. Right. Or add two new ones to the board or whatever you want to do. Yeah, so I've got five. You've got loads. Sugar. Yeah. So I would move him yeah. to here. Oops. Which gives you 17 money. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then I move him. Yeah. Up there, which costs you one wine. Cost me one wine. Ah, oh, but I've got three. That's fine. So, hang on, what's, where's this scaring me? Uh, yeah, you want an extra I want, wine. I want, so I'm going to move him back then to here. You can't move the same one back. I mean, that's okay, that's 12, 12 points. But if you wanted to, rather than moving that, where was this? It was here. That was there. Well, sorry, no. Yeah, so what you could do yeah. is you could actually pay for a new ship to mm -hmm. go on here and get the 17, okay. and then move that one to there. Let's do that. So you have to pay a wood for the new ship. Which I don't have. Which is a... So... Uh, no. No, because no, you can't do that. You can't have another ship. <laughs> Can I convert something into wood? No. 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 Okay, so forget that new ship idea. Yeah, so we're back here. Yeah. Right, okay. Done. So it's 17, 17, 17. Well, <coughs> it, it was it was move that one to there yeah. and move that one to there, so you need to spend a wine. Okay. But then you get a bread action or a placement uh, yeah, action. You get either that <coughs> or that. <coughs> right. Um, you could move back up on the windmill. I could. That's actually quite cheap to go move down for one. You think? For a bread? Or. You lose a bread. This turn, see two, three more turns. Yeah, maybe. Mm. So it's either go up on there. Last turn is infinite okay. wood, or if I move him here, I lose some of my pirates. You want infinite wood, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll be stuck. You'll be stuck otherwise. <laughs> yeah, don't ignore me. Give for the pirates. No, 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 no. Um, right. Yeah, I'm going to move the wood. Where else can I get wine from? No, uh, that's going to flip next time. Right. Uh, wood. There we go. And you want to do that one rather than one of these two? 
Mm. Good point, sorry. Uh, there we are. Just thinking, yeah, 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 three yeah, 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 yeah. Three That's where, where I want to do, yeah. You're going to need to re-explain these. Yeah. Sorry. And I haven't picked up my money mm. yet, sorry. Seven and also, ten. is this four Seven different ones? Ten. Is what? Is this different one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. different, different colours. So I really like the look of this one, but yeah. it's a red one, so I probably don't want it. Okay. So what does that do? Uh, when you activate it, it gets you two money for each ship you have currently on a colony. Colonies are. Oh, that's not very good. Not for you. Um, <clears throat> right. This one is. Uh, when you activate it for each ship you have, uh, sorry, for each colony in which you have at least one ship, you get one of the goods. Rubbish. This one is uh, pay four money to move a worker to one of the colonies and then get the bonus of the tile. Okay, that's quite interesting. So I could potentially move it here and then get a wine every turn and get three money. Get three points. Or get or here and put and get rid of three of my pirates. Yeah. Um that's a purple one. Mm -hmm. That's quite tempting. This just gives me three bread. Yeah. I get four money to move one of my people. Yeah. Is that all it is? It's not that great, is it? It's the High Commissioner. Pay four reals, immediately move one of your workers to any colony land. You get the points as you would normally for moving a colony, uh, moving a worker to a colony, and then you get one of the King's rewards. Oh my, this is a terrible game. <laughs> <laughs> so, I am definitely going to go here. Yep. That's going to cost me a three, which costs me a bread. Yeah, it's a two. Oh, oh, even better. It's in region two. So, that will go just there. And that means I put this out here. Yep. Which means I get to choose one of these. I am going to choose this. Okay, that costs you three wood. Three wood. Could, three. Could I have moved my person from <clears throat> my cities? Can move from anywhere to anywhere. When can I do this? Uh, before any of your turns okay, in phases B or C. <coughs> oh, I, I think I want to score it, so I don't want to do it now. Uh, right, my go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to score it at the end of this round. And can we use it afterwards? Yeah. Okay. When do we score these? Uh, uh, only if you've got uh, one of these. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, which all, which all would all <coughs> early. So. Right. Um, I am going city activation. Which okay. case? Oh, I've done that. Okay. Slightly like from before. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry. Okay. <coughs> so, so move two things there. around in the city. Um, okay, I've got four ships. I need at least three more wood. I'll probably leave myself one spear. Let's send one over to here. Because I do need some bread. Uh, kind of, kind of need more money as well. Yeah, let's, let's send one over here. Okay, and then you get three bread, yep. five money, and three wood, which comes from your infinite wood supply. There is now no wood anywhere else on the island, is there? Oh no, there is, there's one here. You've got to take that one there. Don't have to. You could just take Oh, okay, take no, three wood, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. You can leave this one here, just for, just for fun. <laughs> Somebody else could take it, couldn't they? <coughs> yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there. Okay. Just one, one tree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm promoting sustainability. <laughs> These are activated after any phase, B or C, before you take your turn. Before you take a turn. Yeah. Yeah, only in B or C. Yeah. Right. That's you. Are you done? Um, is there anywhere I can use a pirate to get bread? Uh, no. So not to trigger this here. Well, if you had two bread... Did mm -hmm. I take that? then you could take this pirate dice, spend two bread to make it a three, put it there, activate the city, which would get you three bread. Right. So, no. yeah. Passing? Yes. Which one of these would you like? Uh, I would like to put a person into the... Um, Marcus pet. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, forgot to pay my bread for that, I think. Well, I'm not sure, but I'll pay one anyway. Okay. I did two pair bread. Uh, sorry, <coughs> sorry for one. Oh, yeah, so just comes yeah. from anywhere. Yeah. Remind me now how I can get bread in the next turn. Next turn. Yeah. Uh, 
activating this city gets yes. bread. Uh, being in this region and using this building action gets bread. Yes. That's it. Or moving down on the windmill. Crikey. Or stealing from the supply when we're not looking. No. I suppose. Okay. That's not really the rules of the game. No. Okay. It's not just passing. But yeah, if you know oh, what you're going to do. It. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm you're doing that? Yes, I am. So where are you going to take a worker from? Yeah. Okay, so you lose three pirates. And you'll go. So I'm going to be able to flip two of these. You are. So I can score them and then flip them back. So I can use them. Use them, flip them back, and then score them. Fantastic. Yeah. Ah, no, wait, can I score them? No. Flip them back? Well, score them when? When you mean score them? Oh, when I, we're using this. Yeah, that's at the end of the round. So they've all got to be flipped over the right way to do that? Yeah. And uh, this happens before, though? It does. Fantastic. That happens in C, phase C. So in which case, can I get an another one of these tiles? Yeah. I'll do that then. Nice. <laughs> so I'm going to go here with my one, which I'll change into a two for one bread. I'm going to go for this, which is two wood. Two wood, which you have. Which I have. Okay. I'm done. Done. Andy? You've got one dice <coughs> left. Yes. Where do I want to go? Okay. There's a rule I've just noticed. You can only use one of your face up guild tiles at the beginning of your turn. Oh. Oh, so in which case I would have used one yeah. then. So just before you did that. I used this. Yeah. And I get a chance to flip turn them over before I score. Yeah. Uh, in fact, did you want no, you probably wanted not to use one anyway. I just I just I want that. them all face up. Yeah, so you want to use that one before when you pass, and then that will flip those two over, and so then you'll have all four face up, and then you'll be fine. I can use this one. Yeah, whichever. But you can use it before you pass. Not not just yet. <laughs> but yeah. Soon. <coughs> right. I am gonna go in here again with another bread. I realise I'm not getting men into here this time. That's a mistake, because I've got loads of pirates. Darn. Uh, oh no, I'm going to be overrun by pirates. Oh. And that is do cities again. Yes. So let's suppose... What you're moving around in the Let's cities. suppose I move... Can I move him down here? <clears throat> you can't move other people's. Uh, OK, that's the issue, because that means I'm not guaranteed to get domination on that. You could move that one. Yeah, but he's going to get another one this turn. <clears throat> <coughs> could move both of them into there. I could, and then I won't get any money. But I will get a lot of wood. So you could move that one and that one. No, that still wouldn't work, would it? Yeah, I might just have to move both. Well, at least it'll give me plenty of wood. Wowzers. Right. So seven wood. Yay! <laughs> and three bread. Flip. I'm probably going to regret that. Passing. So before, so I before pass, you pass, you get three bread. I'll do this. And then you pass. And which of these three <clears throat> lovely spaces would you like? Oh, wow. Um, I think first is going to be good. But that's a point. I get to put one in here, don't I? Oh, uh, yeah. Is that real? any real benefit for me? Well, it's going to upset Andy. Because you won't have domination. Because you're going to put one in there potentially from that, and then another one in there from that. Yeah. And that stops me getting 15 points. It does. Oh, I can see that. That's quite brutal, though. It's, it's whether it's worth it to you. Because you've got no workers left now, so you, you, at this point in the game, you're now moving workers around. So that, that would cost me 10 points effectively, wouldn't it? Because yeah. I get the second spot in it. Yeah. Unless I catch in something else instead. Was I supposed to be keeping three people in here? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go there, please. So, I get one point, please, and I am going to put my last worker in there. So I'd like to put it in there, really, but I can. In there. Okay, and then Andy, you pass. <coughs> two money, or five money in a ship? Um, five money or a ship. Do I need a ship? Not particularly. Uh, I'll go top. Two money. Right. So, face C. First of all, this place. Nobody's there, so we don't do it. Right, next, this place. 
Do I get to do this twice? No, just once. We'll see who's. We'll see how much it costs you, though. Yeah, it's going to cost you, isn't it? It's going to cost you five. Five to do the action, or take one pirate. Is there any way that Andy can... No. No, I'm, I'm really sorry, Andy. It's fine, I'll just score this one instead. It's only going to be a few points less. Yeah. That's it, he just doesn't score that tile this turn. Oh, maybe it means I'll so. score 10 oh, instead of 15. Oh, maybe it's not mm. reason for doing that. It costs oh. me five points. I'll take a pyro. I'll take a pyro. Okay. <clears throat> five uh, minutes quite a lot. Here. Oh, yes. <clears throat> it's going to cost you six to do the action. Which is. Um, or two pirates. Which is. Which will be send two workers to Brazil, getting you four points and generating you four sugar automatically. It's a pretty good move. Yeah. Where are they going to come from? Though? Well, I guess one from here and one from there. And yeah. just completely leave <laughs> all of this. Yeah. And just yeah. I, I'm, my challenge is where am I going to get bread next turn? But um, So this one? Yeah. And Well, yeah, I mean, you don't have to move that one. Because you could now move one of those. Mm hmm So I get you four points. Yeah. And how many? And some sugar. No, yeah, no, yeah. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. So this. Did I pay? What did I have to oh, pay? Nothing. That's not so bad, actually. Did I have to pay? <coughs> no, no, you did. It was um, six. Yeah, six. Yeah. It was six money. Okay, so it's going to cost three money to do the action. Yay! Go first? Or do I go first? That's uh, refresh a tile, isn't it? If I refresh a tile <coughs> now, can I use it before... So it is refresh a tile, in. but you don't have any words. Ah, no, I don't. In, right. so in which case, you have to play pirate. pirate. So I'm going to pay three. I can refresh two tiles. Two tiles. Which is my whole plan. Yeah. Nice. And then here. Boom. So it's going to cost six again. <coughs> Who wants to do it? Or another pirate. Yeah. Pirate. Do you want to pay six? Um, what's my, my benefit? Four uh, points. Nothing. Because you don't have any workers here now. Take a pirate. Pirate then, please. Just one. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, so that's phase C done. Phase D. Would you like four points? Yes. <laughs> have four points. Okay, do I put them anywhere? Back at home. Uh, okay. It's red. Yeah. Two, three, four. Uh, phase D, part two. You generate four sugar, and he generates one wine. Four sugar for free! Four sugar for free. <coughs> well, it's not free. It's <coughs> Remember, I've got no bread. Oh, everyone's a pirate, right? yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Uh, maintenance of ships. Oh, here, flip. Here we go. Yeah, no problem. Four. <laughs> Mr. Woodman. So I'm going to spend... Four wood is ten. Or just take four pirates. Or take a mixture of both. So I'm going to spend three... You need three wood. For two wood, so it's either six money, money, or three pirates, two or pirates. some combination. Four there keeps encouraging to take pirates. This is going to end really badly. I'm going to take a little bit of pirates. I'm going to be on. absolutely <laughs> massacred by pirates at the end. Now you've got <clears throat> rather a lot of pirates. I do. Okay, Let's feeding of people. Oh, so I guess everybody's pirates, got all 12 on the board. No, you've only got 11 on the board. All right. That makes me feel oh, so much better. Spend. 11 two, minus 4, three, you need to pay 7. 4, four there. Have seven. 5. So 7 pirates. Um, 5, 6, 7, so 5 pirates. So I've got to pay five, and I've got six, it's eleven, so I'm going to pay one, one, one pirate. Pirate. I'm keeping three bread, it's really important. So I need to pay how much? Well, I keep Seven. two bread, you're probably not going to need so to pay So I pay six and one pirate. Yeah, yeah, is it? bread. Yeah, it's can't, can't the last bread as well, okay. though. Okay. So Just because I can't take bread. Seven pirates. Well, yeah, I guess. I'm going to be building those, so I'm going to get more bread. <sighs> seven pirates? <laughs> how many pirates have you got? You've so, you only got a few. I've got four tokens. I'll not tell you how many they're worth. <laughs> Many. <laughs> I've, got, I've got 18. Oh, yeah. right, okay. <laughs> right, we are now in phase <coughs> E, where everybody scores two crown requests. So, John, do you want to do yours first? Yeah, I'll score 15 for my money. Yeah. So you spend the money, flip that over, or discard I it. I spend whatever. the money, do you? Spend I? the money, yeah. Um. <laughs> do you not realise that? <laughs> you did last time. I did last time. <laughs> so 50 was a key so this 27 time. to 42. <clears throat> yeah. And then you're going to score one of those, yeah. which is 12 points. Yeah. I might 54. score. Yeah. You can't score both. Can't no, score no, 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 no. I was thinking I'd score both of those and keep the money. <clears throat> no, you can't. You can't. It would oh, okay. be different ships. 
Okay, so you could, so you could get no. 20 for these. Uh, yeah, four of the swords. Yeah, does that turn over? It does. It's 20. So 20. So and then this one, what has that got a little star on it? Because that's what you started with. Uh, okay. If you're starting one. So I'll do that one as well. Which is 16. 16. So 59. Done. Uh, right. 15 for that one. For 15. So I'm going to 31. And then another 15 for the money one. 46. There you go. That's the end of round three. That's all. <laughs> We're good. <coughs> we'll finish this. We'll all finish us. Alright, somebody want to do the characters? So, so this one Mr. R, Mr. moves one space round. Right, there he goes. Yeah. Cheers. So you can't use your guild tiles now before you choose a space. Okay, fair enough. That's a nice little selection of numbers there. Nothing's yeah. too bad at all. Um, <coughs> we'll take one, two, three, the, the top row. Okay, take the top row. And you can refresh either green or white. Unfortunately I can't. Okay. So I'm going to take the second the row. I'm going to take this one, which is glorious for me. And you can refresh something, but you don't have anything flipped. And you don't have anything, so which one do you want? Money. I guess the money one. Yeah. That's worked out quite nicely. Right, phase B. I guess they do push you in a certain direction. Mm -hmm. Actions. So anti clockwise for Monday, counter clockwise for Monday. Yes. This is round four. Isn't this it? is round four of five. No scoring at the end of this round. I, I kind of feel I've had enough now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> three units climax. <laughs> Ship off. Um now I uh, the harvester should be here. Oh. Oh yes, of course. Yep. I need yeah, to I, just, I didn't realise it was four or five. I need to be <clears> one <throat> ship at least, probably two. This gives you wood if you harvest this, does it, I guess? No, you can't harvest it. It's not in any region. Oh okay. The forest field is, is not part of any I region. I should build two ships. Two new ships. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to have six. On oh the right. Okay. End, so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to have six down. So and that's, that's the area to get the points. Today, today. Yeah. So I guess you eleven money. And there's three. And three more. wine. Right. Park. Yeah. So I want to do this, the city thing, which is here. here. So that's a two I need for that. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I've got lots of money I don't need, what can I do with it? I also need to get stuff in here for my, my bank. So, I'm going to go here. Oh, there's also, oh, there's a Pyra. Oh, in for a penny and for a blipping pound. Do I want to do this at the end? I don't. Definitely don't. So I'll do this one. Okay, so you have to lose one of your... Yeah. Workers from the city watch. Now we're going to move two things around. Yep. I think I might just do this. Okay. So, I get six wood. Six wood. Two money. Three bread. Fun. Play get two players? Sure go. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, can, I, can I take a wine production for that on my turn? I can said I you get a wine. I don't. I can't remember if you wine. took one or not. You no, one. you didn't. You don't have one. I mean, you don't now because you've just spent three. I spent three. three <coughs> but I see. Don't think I took. One. I'll leave it now anyway. So it's check, not going to change. We'll, we'll check the video later yeah. and see if you missed it. Here, here are the things I'd like to achieve. Mm -hmm. Get some bread. Yeah. Okay. That, that's this action. Yeah, you can so I'll probably use a pirate for that, can I? Can't. There's already a pirate on this character. Okay. So I could use that dice for that. Yeah. I want to move these move these two around. 
Because you've got loads of sugar. Because I've got loads of sugar. So that'll get and me loads wine, of money. So that'll get me loads of money. Yeah. And so bread, sugar, and I need some wood because I want to build some boats. Well, m money will buy you wood. Right. At any point. Yeah. But, you, but, you, said you, you, but you said you couldn't. You I can't couldn't. take pirates to build a boat. You can only take pirates instead of maintaining okay, the Okay, so the order then should be do this, sorry, do the boat moving thing. Which is up there. There, which gets me the money. Mm -hmm. Buy some wood, then do this. Okay, that sounds about right. Can I use a pirate to do that? You can. Okay, it I'll depends if you want to do this action or which not. Which is? Which is send people to the colonists. I think I've got enough people there, haven't I? Uh, yeah, true. I wonder if you can send them from the colony to the same colony. No, I think, I think, I think you would have to move them from a different colony. Does, it, does arriving at the colony get you the get points? Get you the points, yes. Okay. Right. No, I, I don't think I want to put any more people in the colony at the moment. So I'm going to go pirate here. Yeah, or any other colony land. Okay. Yeah. So pirate here. Yep. I take a pirate? Nope. Okay. You just have to remove a worker from... City Watch. Okay. Um, move two boats. Move two boats. So how did we do this last time? Well, you could do something slightly different, just move that one to there and that one to there. Okay. It depends if you want the boat on Brazil. You know, I mean, which of these bonuses do you want? Can you choose to only move one boat? Yes. Yeah, it's always okay. two. So... Okay, so I want to move here. Can I move to the second space? In fact, hang on, no, that's that's there, okay. that's blocked. So because you've got this, mm -hmm. you're going to score this in round five. Mm -hmm. you've, you want to be here. This is the this is the best place for round five. Okay. Although that's a that's a bit busy as well. So no, I don't have the points together at the moment. Yeah, I mean that's that's four points. That's six. Yeah. Okay. So you're probably best doing something similar to before, moving that to there and then moving that to there. Okay. Except I don't get to spend as much <coughs> on my thingies, but okay, fair enough. So that goes in so there. That goes in and four sugar. Four sugar. And you get 14 money and one of those two bonuses there. 14 money. One of the two bonuses. Mm -hmm. Which could be up on the windmill. Bread and circuses. And effectively yep. bread. How did you go? Back to Andy? <coughs> yeah. I think I will make some stuff, maybe. Super harvester? Yeah. Okay. Extra wine? Right, Darn. So that gets you. Darn you, sir. One wheat. <coughs> One, two, three, four wine. This wood and oh. a sugar. That's it. All trees have now been officially cut down, apart from the forest of infinite wood. So I want to get grapes. I think the best version of grapes is going here. I could always swap two that things. Doesn't get you any grapes. Oh, because it only harvests this side. Yeah. Oh, so I have to do a general harvest yeah. just here. Okay. Wish you could use your. Whatever he's called. This one, absolutely. That's that's the whole idea. Uh, the so, engineer. So if I put the one here, does, will that work? To do what? Oh, no, 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 I've got to go here, haven't I? Yeah, if you want to harvest region three. I, I have to, yes, yeah, so either here or here. Yeah. Okay, so actually I want to go here, there. There, harvest region three. So you get a sugar. One sugar. One wheat. One wheat. Another wheat. Another wheat. And a wine. And a wine. Why are you activating the engineer? I'm activating him and I'm going to get two more wine. Okay. That's my poultry, really. I buy, can buy wood at any time, is that right? <coughs> that you need it. Yep. And you're up. Okay. So, just checking my thinking here again. If I played another one here, mm -hmm. I can do the swapping around and earn money again, can I? Yep. Cool. Okay. 
So I'll do that then. Okay. And where did I need to put my dice to earn bread? Down there. Here. Yeah. Okay. So, swap, swap. So this one ends up on the there, three. And then that this goes one ends up That costs you three sugar and a, and a wine. Three sugar and a wine. Earns you 11 money. And presumably another step up on the windmill. And unless I wanted to move one of these to here. Can't move into the city. That's moving okay. it into a field. Right, fair enough. Surfaces. You've got your 11 money, yep. so Just get, add two more wherever you like. This is, whenever you're doing a building action, treat that region as if you had an extra two workers. So for here, oh, wow. you would get five bread instead of two. You flip it to do that though? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, <coughs> back to you, Andy. Um, I probably need to do this. You'd buy a new tile? Yeah. Do you need a refresh on what any of them do? <coughs> uh, what's that one do? That is, when you activate it, get too many for each of your ships and the colonies. Mm, quite useful. It's the envoy. Do any of them score victory points? Uh, no, but that loses half of your pirates. Mm, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's... Lose half of your pirate round down. Let's do that. Cost you five wood. Five wood I can afford. What's this one do? Uh, that is basically move a worker from anywhere to anywhere, including from the city watch, which you normally can't do. I was a bit scared actually, you were going to go here, but I want to go here. Can't go there. Oh, there's can three I? dice on there now. Oh, there's three dice, of course. Yeah, can't uh, you need another mm. square on there. Ah, that's good. I need two squares. That's really bad. No, no one, because I had a pirate, pirate first time. Yeah. That's really bad then. So I've got two goes. So. So I could move one to the city watch if I wanted. If I went there, if I used that. With? With this tile. This tile? Yeah. Um, yeah, one of your workers from any one spot to any other spot. And if you move into the city watch, you remove pirates. If you move into a city, you'll get points. And this one is? That is, when you're doing a building action in phase C, don't pay for it. So you know when we've rolled the dice and we work out how much it costs? Oh, that's a way of me getting some extra money, isn't it? Uh, I, I really, that was my plan, and now I've got, I've got no idea now. <clears throat> I want to get more men on here, because I want to get rid of my pirates. So one way of doing that is going over here, but I can't do that anymore. I can't go over there, can I? Where? <clears throat> I can't go to this space. No. No, that's categorically. So bread will mitigate that a bit. I need to flip this, so that's definitely a place I need to go at some stage. So let's go here. Yeah, because you use two of your guild <clears throat> tiles and you yeah. flip them back. Let's go there. And I, I don't want to put people into the harvest, so I'm going to. I'm actually going to harvest. Yep. So harvest this. So you get <coughs> sugar, two wheat, and a wine. Okay? Yep. <coughs> I'm biblically stuffed. <coughs> okay. Whose guy is it? Sure go. Is it? Right, yeah. so I'm trying to get people into the town, but this only happens <coughs> in the next yeah. phase, not now. Yeah, you can't get them into the town now. Right. You can just move them around. <coughs> mm-hmm. So I can move it, does moving it up help me at all? Yeah. All right, I'm only going to get two bread for my human. Uh, yeah, plus one for this. For my, yes. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could you move, move yeah, that yeah, one there and that yeah, one yeah, there I'll and you get that. five bread. Yeah, in. I'll do that. That's interesting. Yeah. <coughs> so you put a two on there and, yeah. a, and a square. Yeah. You're going to move these two up? Yeah. And you get five bread. Now? <coughs> yep. Okay. Uh, bread. There you go. Um, Andy. Right, I will lose half my pirates and then pass. Okay. Can you do that the same turn? Mm-hmm. 
had, where, where do you get your losing half your pirates from? It's these special guild tiles. Oh, right. Who's got all the ones? Me. <laughs> like <laughs> I found one, really. <laughs> Okay, which of these top one? Do you like? Top one. Too many. Absolutely have to pick first next round, or I'm in trouble. Remember, you might want to pass early just to secure. Uh, I thought about that. Particular space. <coughs> well, I could just get a little more stuff, but I don't know as much point getting any more stuff. So this will allow me to move stuff around here. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of point doing that. So many resources. Look at all that. I know. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> What's going to do? Open market. The ones. There's no point going to one, is there? Because I've got nothing there. Uh, you can't go to one. No. So there allows me to put people over here, which I don't really want to do. I can't. The harvest is rubbish there anyway. Got all that wood as well. I know. Wow. But I don't really know buying any of those is worth anything. I'm already here, there's no point having two there. Mm -hmm. Apart from putting another dice to make the cost cheaper. That's true, yeah. There's no point going there because I'm already there. Yeah. So that's true. this is the only place that's worth going, and that's to get bread, and that doesn't and seem like that's worthwhile. Stuff. And I don't think I need any more stuff. It's not worth points at the end, is it? Yeah. Is it? Everything converts to a coin, and every five coins is a point. It's, it's negligible it's points. But if you've got nothing else to do, as you say, you're already there, you're already there. So that's probably your best. Or a pass. Oh, or a pass. And that, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter. These are these don't really matter to me at all, I don't think. Okay. Passing allows you to go there. Yeah. I well think that's what I'm going to do. I end up with red upgrades. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll pass and I'm going to go here. And put somebody in there. And lose three pirates. I'm going to put him in there. And I'm going to lose three pirates. Okay. John. There's no point in passing because the other two have already passed. Mm -hmm. You might as well take your last action, depending on what yeah. you wanted to do. Um, Would you have passed otherwise, John? No, no you wouldn't have. I still think, actually. Mm, not sure. Right, so. There was nothing that was any good for me. Uh, I can't go here. I'd have bought, nope. built more boats. Um, so I've stuffed that because. Well, you did it twice. Uh, so, yeah, I did it once, but. If I need, if I pick another one of those, I'd need six boats. You'd to need six boats. boats in the right. I'm not going to be able to do that. No. Well, I might be able to do that next turn. You can guarantee not getting that. Yes. By going here. Yes. But then you might get that, yes. which is absolutely useless. Yes. To you. Yeah. Unless right now you choose this action and. He's not going to get that one. I'm just going to take that one. Yeah. Okay. okay. I think you two don't need to worry about it. it doesn't worry yeah. at all. One of you wants that. One of you wants okay. the other one. I can move ships around. I'm just getting that one because he's already got the other. To yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And it lets me refresh my pirate thingy remover. Yeah. So I've got nowhere to, nowhere that I can harvest because that's full. Mm -hmm. If I play over there, I can move two <coughs> people in the building phase. Yeah. And possibly win that. But I think you you're pirate frenzy man, so you're going to do that as well, which means we neutralise. Uh, no, I've only, I haven't got three in there, so I've, I'll only move one in. You won't right. be moving any in, because it's, it's how many colon, how many workers you have in oh, that. Oh, of course, right. <coughs> yeah. right. Yeah, that's mine. Unless you were to buy this guild tile and then flip it, and then it would be treated as if you had two. Okay, and how much is that? Three. This costs you three wood. Three wood. Yeah. Okay, which I don't have. I'll pay it. Um, right. I think that might be a this one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Might be your best bet. Stick another action square on it. Not that it matters, and get another five bread. There you go. There's your bread sorted. Yeah. Five bread done, and then you pass. Yeah. So what do you want? No, I, what, do I pass? I, I played a pirate right at the start. Does, is there no dice left now? No. So pass. Well, why did he get five bread? Uh, uh, middle one, one, two, three, four, oh, five. Second, okay. second one, yeah. please. Second one. position. Yeah. So would you like three money or put somebody in a city? Uh, do I get any instantaneous gratification? Yeah, one point. point. Free money. Okay. Right. So, end of round four, D. Mm. Phase D. 
it's tied for majority, so that doesn't happen. Second step, that converts into a wine. D or C? D. Oh, no, sorry, D, yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, have we done C? We haven't yeah. done C. No, we haven't. No. So, no. We haven't done yeah. C. Right, getting ahead of yourself. Get excited, Paul, that's what it was. Oh, it's stuck. Oh. So it's going to cost. This one here? Yes, yeah, it's going to cost five, or you take four pirates. So five to do absolutely nothing, mm -hmm. or take four pirates. Yep, here. So it's going to cost seven to do the action, or take one pirate. Pirate. I think I'll have. Here costs four to do the action. Or take four pirates. And the action here is for you. It send yeah. one <coughs> colonist. Send one worker to a colony. And that benefits me. It would get you two points, and it would produce an extra Wait, sugar. Paul, when could I do this? At the start of any of your turns. So I should have done that. Well, it's about to be the start of your turn. Oh, okay. Here, so All you right. can do it there. <coughs> All right. Can't take them from there. This is going to turn to wine next game, isn't oh, it? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, it should that turn to wine now? Yeah. yeah. It, it will turn to wine at any moment now. There we go. And no, I need, that. I, I need that. 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 We'll move the sugar one. And that one as well. There we go. Because if you move the sugar one to here, you'll get two points and you'll get a sugar. Okay, alright. So, yeah. two points. Wine everywhere, Liam. <laughs> no, you don't get the sugar just yet. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, of course. Next, yeah. next Did you pay? What did I need to pay? Four. No, I didn't. Four to do the action. Right, here. Mm. Yep, yeah, we'll pay it. Cost you six? Six. But before that, do you want to use one of your... I do. So I'll go for three bread. Yeah, and then you pay six to flip two of them over. Very nice. Okay, and here. So it costs six. I'm going to pay six. Yeah, so will I. So, Andy pay six to do nothing. Oh no, actually that's not what I want to do. I'll take a pirate. So and I pay six to put off them anyway. Two things into the city. No, one, one thing into well, the city. And another one I want to put in as well. So yeah, two things, yeah. Yeah. So there's one. one yeah, one? I think it probably is. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. Six pirates? Six pirates. Maybe. Six. Remind me which one it is. It? It's this one here, isn't it? Mm. What's that? No, putting no, where's the, the city? Where's the put, put this is putting people into the city watch. Yeah. I've got rid of nine pirates this turn. Nice. Yeah. So, now we're in D, <coughs> you've now got the majority. Four points. Four points. One, two, three, four. That converts to wine, that converts to wine, that converts mm -hmm. to wine. Maintenance of ships. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. I have three, so I need... So Andy has six ships. Mm, okay, you so... Have one wood which so I have there's to pay. one wood. And where, where are you getting the other five from? I will mm. spend six for... Three. Three, and then I'm going to take two, two pirates. pirates. Okay. Four wood. Four wood. So what you left? Uh, John, you've got three ships on the board, so you need three wood. <coughs> so I'm just going to spend six. You're going to spend, spend six in both here. Right, colonists. Andy, you have 12 colonists on the board. Yes. Five um, windmills, so you need to pay seven food, seven mm -hmm. bread. Or oh, seven pirates. Seven pirates. Mark, you have 11 colonists on the board, 11 S workers. Yes, yeah, so I'll pay five bread. Yep. Yeah. And John, ten. you've got 10 on the board, you've got Six windmills, so you just need to pay four bread. There you go, easy. Right, we're done. What oh, great game! We're going into the last round. I'll do these. Take your squares Mr. back, Mr. Arvester. Come over here. Oops. Only got two squares. Take them back. All the twos on the pirates. Okay. <coughs> okay, that's interesting. I'm the last. Good numbers for me, please. Oh, oh that's going to be a painful last round. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do here. That's that's okay. It's problematic. You can always move down the windmill to get bread. Mm. Okay, well I'll take that lot anyway. 
Because you need that. You need that, yeah. yeah. I, need, I need this bit well. of brain really, isn't there? Oh, you can flip by to... either your red or your... Yeah, I've flipped back the uh, purple. Right. John? I'm going to have to go for the chest, do not I? This one? Yeah, because I've got the other... I can't use the same. You but can, you just have to have three CH other ships. Other ships, which I'm unlikely... Oh, well, I could generate them, couldn't I? It depends, are you likely to produce more sugar than wheat, uh, than wine? No. Oh, we didn't do the... Sorry, we didn't do the production in the colonies. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll have a wine then. Yeah, that should have been there, so you should have had five sugar. Okay. To be fair, those are the best dice, though. Thank you. <clears throat> so these are mine? Yeah. So this is half things in that one. Okay, okay you've got one, which is four points. Yeah, well, I'm going to do more now, aren't I? Right, last round. Off you go. Best of luck to you guys. Tally ho. <coughs> uh, I'm in a lot of trouble now. <laughs> How do I make this work? And you will be scoring all of your scoring tiles at the end of this round. Mm -hmm. And it, it just happens the actions I want are in the top area as well. Uh, uh, this is going to cost me some. You need to do your bread thing first then, don't mm. you? Yeah. Right. Off you go then, John. How am I go? Is it? Go for me. Yeah. Right. So let me just let me think about this. And I you still get these pass actions on the last round of the game. So okay. They are still available. So. So you don't. You probably don't need these now. Anymore. Hundreds of them anymore. No. Yeah. But they've been all? generating. Well, at the end of the last round, round, they will generate five sugar, which is which one point. Not worth it. But yeah, you use them elsewhere if you need to. Right. So which is the thing that allows me to move them? Which is the... Uh, it depends, yeah. I mean, that's moved them into a field. Yes. Yeah, so... And that that's your problem at the moment, is these building actions for you are doing nothing, because yes. you've got nothing in yeah. either of these regions. Yeah. So... But you were getting a lot of points from sending them there, yeah. and a lot of... Sugar yeah, yeah, yeah. There, so so I, I want to move them into the area two. Right. Yeah. So you yeah. put two dice down. <coughs> Pirate? Can I put a pirate down there? Can if you want to. Yeah, because yeah. I don't want to do this. Red pirate? Don't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't think so. That's that's what I'm sacrificing by putting it there, right? Yeah, but you might want to do that. I don't know. Because it, it would move two of them into there and get you three points. In fact, you get the three points, the movement of the people is optional. So Okay. Okay. Well, if you've well, let me, let let me do it with a, yeah. without without the pirate with a pirate first, please. Red pirate for you, sir. Yeah. And I take a pirate thingy. Yeah. No, you remove somebody from here. Okay. To do to use a pirate dice. Right. So my plan is to get ships moving. So I need to get some. We well, actually build two ships, I think. Yeah, I you want those six. Those. So I need to get two ships into here. You do. So I'll do. There's a ships is uh, here. Yeah. That's a three. I've have a, I have a three. I put down my what's it? Um, yeah. The source is better for you in terms of points, but <coughs> it's three wine to get there. Well, I've got three yeah, wine. So you could do one there and one there. Yeah. So there's two sixes, isn't it? Mm, that's a three at the end. So six there. Oh, yeah. a three there. Uh, I could go right? here. Yeah. So just put that three. So put that wood there for one ship. And that's going to go just here. That's going to be six points. There's three wines. Yep. Yeah. And which bonus would you like? Can I, can I make that decision in a minute? And then this wood is going to pay for another ship. I can't go there, which is a real pain. I can go here. Yep. Yeah. Which is six, which is one wine. Which is yeah. what I've got. So you get one of those two and one of those two. So I'll have three points, please. Do I want to put a man into here? That gets me to get rid of three pirates, doesn't it? It does. Or five money. I don't know if I need money for anything now. There's three pirates. Okay, Andy. Um, I am going to pay a pirate <coughs> to go here and get me a load of bread. So, um, let's move that one down here and this one in here. Okay, so six bread yep. and five wood. Okay. Uh, 
Back to you, John. Right. I need to generate some wine. Um, I think I'm best generating it Doesn't here. There's a super harvest here. Yeah. So, do that. Yep. So you put a, put your action marker on here. Yep. You don't have to pay any bread to boost it. And you get four wine. Right, okay. Could you put me out for four wine, please? I will, sorry. Well, no problem. God, I'm in a daze. <laughs> Just take him off his hurry. One less mouth to feed. Like him. Yep. A one's not much use to me. Let's deal with my two first. That allows me to flip two of these. Is there any point flipping them? At the end? Only if you've got one of the scoring tiles that scores them. Yeah, so there. Yeah, definitely them. Oh, I could use the pirate. Can't. Not here. There's already a pirate dice. There. Ah, yes, of course. Yeah, I'm not worried about that anyway. So I'll do that. Put my thing down. I can move two of these around. Mm -hmm. Or you could do a harvest. Harvest would do this. Yeah. I could. But both are quite good for you. But this is probably better. I think it is. But I don't really need wood anymore. No. Well, you get maintenance. I need, I need six wood at the end. Yeah. So that's three... To, do I need money? Only to activate the buildings. I don't know if that's going to be important either. Bread, do I need bread? I don't know what I do. <laughs> <coughs> so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, <laughs> uh, I can... I think this is an act, Mark. <laughs> I think your chess mind is doing going, right. going super duper quick. And this one's here. This one's gonna go. Do you know? Let's have another bread. That's gonna save me a pirate. Okay. So four bread. Four bread. Three money. Two wood. Three money. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Andy. Right. Um, I think I'm gonna use the other pirate. Oh no, I can't. I've got no people in there. Oh, I don't know. Gonna have to use your own dice. Uh, yeah, disgraceful. I am gonna have to buy a guild tile thingy, so what do the two green ones do? So that one, when you are resolving a building action, treat it as if you have an extra two workers in that region. And this one, when you're resolving a building action, don't pay for it. Don't pay for it? Don't pay for that action. Okay. Whatever the cost of the action turns out to be. Right, I'll take this one. Okay, I'll okay, cash you three wood. Yeah. I'm not fun anymore. <laughs> Darn it. <clears throat> uh, where did I just go? Yeah. Back to you, John. Right. Two actions two, left. Two things I want, would like to do. And you have two actions left, so. I'd like to move boats about to earn me, me as much money as I can. Yep. Yeah. And I want to get as many of my meeples in here as possible. Right. Well, that action does both of those. So. Right. But you only get the bottom bit if you've got people so, on the so, fields. And the reason why I'm wanting to go into here is to reduce the number of pirates yeah. I've got. Okay. <coughs> but this only works if I've got people in the fields. Which you don't. Which I don't. No. So that's not... No, but you could put an action here yeah. and then do that. Yeah. And, and move people into okay. the field and then do that. It's... Yeah, okay. Right, when so that happen? when you want it to. When you flip it over and pay for the passing at the end. Um, the bonuses? Just to do that. Yeah. Right, so now. Yep. You need to get those ships on the board, don't you? I do because of these. Yeah. So you've got. Yeah. Wherever's best. I mean, over there, the wine market is... Right, so I've got... <coughs> the wine market is... Best oh, yeah, for points. Best for points, but I don't... Oh, yeah, and I do have that. You do. So I'll do that then. Mm-hmm. 13. 13. That costs you one wood. Which you don't have. So it's, that, so it's 12 I get there. Unless you're buying a second ship. Well, I'm about to. In which case, it's three money for two. Oh, yeah, okay. So I just take ten. Ten, okay. Okay. 
and then your second chip. You're going to put here? Yep. And that that does, helps this, does it? It will. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you get 17 this, money. I'm getting points here. You get here. 8 points for that. And I get 17 money for this. It's a lot of money. I don't know if it's doing me any good though. Does it get me out of trouble later? Am I good? I believe so. Uh, we need to put your Thank action you. marker up here. So I, I can't go here or here. Where away? I've got no people in here, I've got no people in here, so I can only go in this one. With what? With my dice? No, you can still go there. He just doesn't do the building action. Ah, uh, yeah, no. So I could go here and like that one harvest this though. No, that's true. <clears throat> I don't want to do that. And that is, I can't remember what that is. Buy one of these. Don't want to do that. So I think if I do this, and mm -hmm. it's going to cost me two bread to do that. She's quite expensive. Two bread? Is it one? Two or three? Is it one? The one's there? It was a one, yeah. Oh, right, okay, this is yeah. your last. So that's your a last one, two, three. Yeah. And then that will allow me to move these around. Yeah, do all this stuff again. And so I do get, so there is a net gain to doing it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I don't need any more wood. Don't you? Oh, no, I do because of this. You do? I don't need any more money. I think it's going to, so I'm going to go one, Two. Nobody has any tiles for majorities. Go, do they? No. no. So there's no, no, no yeah. need to do that. So I'm going to take five bread. Yep. Two money. I'm actually going to have, I'm going to have too much bread, I think. And two wood. I'll have too much and not enough. So every time I move someone into here... Yeah, you lose three pirates. You lose three pirates. If you have a surplus of bread and you really don't need it, you can move down on the windmill to get three money. Okay. Which is three fifths of a point. Yeah, right. Hey. Here's another guy. I don't think there's anything more. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's anything else we can do, really. I need to Tell me later. <laughs> spend the bread. You should have done still got loads of stuff. For I ships. I think well, everything's in place. They're all, right. all, all maxed. Yeah. Um, and I'll move this little boat over here, well, gonna, which costs me three wine. You were going to flip one of them, weren't you? Because gets me two of them were flipping over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's me done. So you should have flipped one of them. Well, five, six, seven, three bread. <laughs> so I do this one. Yeah. It's, that takes me one up the It's up on there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to go to the A peach You're being too enough. efficient. I'll be too early. This is blocked. So Andy, what did you do? You built two ships. Yeah, this is uh, completely well, I, blocked. I just yeah. did one ship. I, uh, right. I moved my ship from here to here. Look yeah. at okay, this. <coughs> wow. Got them all in the right places. Mm -hmm. um, John, the last action. So I'm going to make sure I can do this. I'm moving people in here, I think. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, so just move two people into that field. But oh, you only need one. Well is, that, is that the best I, I, is that the yeah, best I move, can do? I'd move one of these because okay. one here is going to get you the two bread. Okay. Yeah. And one of these. Oh, one of them because that's not doing anything now. Right. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You just need to do one there. Okay. So. So, uh, so which action did you do? This one. Mhm. Mm yeah. Can you put a uh, put a marker on there? Yeah. Mark, are you passing? Yeah, well I might want to flip one of these, but I don't even think I need to do that. So I might as well flip this to get three bread. Well, I mean that is spend four money to get three points. How can I do that? Okay. I didn't, so I didn't realise that, because yeah. there's, there's points over there. Yeah. So how would I do that, just by moving a man over there? Spend four money, oh. put a worker on oh. one of the colonies. I don't need... No need by... I don't know how to design this one. Yeah, and then... On um, where, where, one of these? Just, yeah, somewhere. On the island. There. Yep. Yeah. And then get one of the bonuses. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'll have three money then. Three points. Three points, yeah. Sorry, didn't realise that. That's four, four money. And then you pass. Which yeah, of these would you like? Three. So I would like... I think I just want the point. Yeah. Nobody's going to catch me here. Yeah, so this is put a worker into the city and get a point. Into the, oh, I've actually still got to move a worker into the yeah. city. Okay, all right. 
be nice to have a draw just in case I do. Just, you've now only got two in here. You wanted three. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, you can move this one back. Oh, yeah, okay, good. It's <laughs> not <laughs> doing anything. A point. <clears throat> Thank you. Did you, did you give me a point? I did. All right. Um, right, <clears throat> what do those white things do? So this one is just two wood. Yep. And this one <laughs> is for each colony that you have a ship in, get the resource printed on the space, so a wheat, a sugar, or a wine. Okay. Um, so for you that would be one wheat. Yeah, that's not great. But you just need a white tile, don't you, for five points? Yeah, although it's costing me three points worth of money to oh, get okay. it, so it's only a net gain of two. Still? Is there anything better? <laughs> so funny because it actually yeah. is quite simple when you take a photo of it. Wood and money. Ah, I won't bother, I'll just keep things quite simple. Extra couple of points won't change the game, so I'll just do that. And um, You've got an enormous score coming up. With all I'm your not getting bonus. an awful lot of bonus points, but I am a quite a way behind. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> Why are you getting those bonus points? Uh, I'll have this. We've got all of these in. Um, and I might turn that into the game. Two all of these blues. Oh, okay. Uh, you can't do it after. Oh, okay. You can only do it before your action. Yeah. Are you able to flip anything though? Um, what's the latest phase in the game I can use of this? You can use them in B or C before you take a turn. Right. So I'm not going to get any more pirates before I can use this anyway. Although, unless I've been, well, possibly, mm, not possibly. So you can use it here. You can yeah. use it before you take your turn that one. here when we're doing the buildings. Yeah. So, I, at best, I could save one pirate <coughs> or something by saving that till later. So okay. I'll just I'll flip that now, um, and then that one I can flip next time. But you know, you don't. You're not going to get the points for them if they're flipped. Oh, do you not? No. Oh, okay. No, they've got to be got to oh. be face up. Ah, oh, right. Okay. In that case, oh, that changes things. Okay, carry on. I won't flip a name. John, you done? Yep. So you passing? Which of these would you like? I would like to go into the uh, Temple of Doom, please. So I can put a chappy in there. Yep. I remove three pirates. Those three pirates. <clears throat> and then it's Andy. Uh, top one. Okay. You sure? That's worth a point, effectively. Yeah, but I think flipping a tile is worth. Oh, do we not? Does that no, not no, no. The last round? No. It, it's just what's printed on the space now. So you, ah, might, okay. you might as well have so that. One. For five. Right. So, phase C. This always goes one, two, three, four, five, does it? Because that yeah. matters. It's actually. this number that's yeah. in there. Okay. I wouldn't have flipped that one in the last round if I'd known it was uh, needed to be on active, but that's a shame. It's going to cost six money to do. Nothing. Nothing. So take a pyro. No. Well, no, it's take two bread. It's six money to take two bread. Or take one pirate. Oh, I'll take I'll take six money. No, spend six money. Spend six money. <laughs> <laughs> Good try. <laughs> We're either hanging or we're a tea deal. Oh, <laughs> I'll, have you all. I'll be set off on a holiday to New York. Here, uh, this is uh, spend six to do the action, or get four pirates. Right, and the action is for you. It's put somebody in a city and get one point. How much was that? That's a boat. Don't like going to cities. How much was that? It's all got too much. Uh, six. It's four. Five. Rather than putting this one on the board. Yeah. At this yeah, stage yeah, yeah, in the yeah, game. Move, move one. Yeah. But not, but not from that section. From this section. Yeah. From anywhere. Well, no, because oh, don't they need to be somewhere? No, okay. No, anyway. Right. Okay. But they're going to get you stuff. Yeah. So <clears throat> here. So it's going to cost you six to do nothing, or get one pirate. Mm, I only have six. So six to avoid getting one pirate. Well, I'm not going to do anything else with that six, I don't think. Um, does the pirate thingy round up or down? Down. Uh, rounds down. You lose half your pirate rounded down. Okay, in that case I can afford to take one more anyway, Okay. if I use it. Here. Cool, okay. So nice. Mark, you pay three to do the action or take three pirates. So before I do that I can do this yep. to get three bread. Yeah, and then you flip them both back. And then I'm gonna take the action, so I flip them both back, and that's gonna cost me three money. Mm-hmm. 
That's lovely. That's just what we needed. And finally, <coughs> so it's going to cost three to do the action. Yeah, I'll well, pay three to do nothing. Three to put people into here. Yeah. And these uh, these don't matter down today yeah. into here, and I lose my six, so pirates. six pirates. Six. Sorry, how much? How much was it? No, three. Three. Nice stuff for money. <coughs> I think. Yeah. Never mind. Um, and how much? What do you I do? can pour one person in, which okay. will lose your three pirates. Okay. You spent your three? Yep. Okay, that's phase C. So phase D, Mark, you have the majority. Four points. Four points. <coughs> uh, colony, produce resources. So John, you get three sugar for here, and Andy, you get one wine for there. Does it actually matter? Yes, yeah, three-fifths of a point. <laughs> <coughs> Maintenance on ships. So, Andy, you've got six ships on the board. You're 21. paying 21 money for the six wood. Right, Mark, you've got six ships on the board. I'm going to move this down one to get three money. Uh, you can't do that in phase D. Oh. You could only do that in phases B or C. Oh, that's annoying. So I could have done that earlier. Yeah, would you have done that? Of course. You could have known? Okay. No, because I knew exactly what I was doing, and okay. I'm, I'm one money short. <laughs> yep. So you did that in phase C. Yeah. Right? Is that all right? Yeah, of course. Right. So, like, it's, it's, uh, an earning so game. So I get a surplus of two money, money to do that. <coughs> okay. Right. Did you did you do, have to not do something else to achieve that? No. No, you just do it. No. So, I, right. Okay. I was a money short, but yeah, I, no I, I'll just right. look at it. I've got to pay. I've got five boats. Uh, yeah. So I've got to pay fifteen. If you've got fifteen, yeah. You got fifteen spare. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Right. Feeding people. So Andy, you've got eleven people on the board. Five windmills. Six. Mark, we've got 11 people on the board. Six windmills, so you need to pay five. John, Ten five. People. Oh, everybody's right. got loads. Ten people on the board. Ten so. people, six windmills, you pay four. <coughs> Easy, right. Okay, phase E, everybody scores all of their tiles. Andy, we'll do yours first. So you have ships in the markets, and you yeah. have 18, because you've got three ships here. Wow. So 18 comes to 64. You then have ships in the colonies, and you have three here, which is 18. Fantastic. Uh, 82, 82. And then you have 15 for your face up tiles, so 97. Oh, I didn't break 100. Mark, ships in the market. Yeah. You've got three plus four plus four, so that's 11. 11. 11 points for ships in the market. Ships in the, ships colonies. In the colonies, you've got six plus four plus three. So 13, 13. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 27, and 20. 20. <coughs> oh my nice. goodness. So 1, 1, 7. Uh, John. <laughs> a bit of time there. I'm going to get destroyed on the pirates as well. Ships in the market. Oh, but I've managed to get rid of them all. So 3, nice. 6, 12. Not yeah. having anyone on this space cost me massively because I kept having to take these two yeah. actions. Ships in the colonies. My uh, most of them are 8. And money. You got 15? If I pay the kid, there's no way I'll do as well as that. 92. Right. Yes. And you got rid of his, all of his pirates. Pirates. Mm. Yeah. The chest of well. no, okay. no. <laughs> okay, reveal how many pirates you've got. 6, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so you lose 16 points. Ouch. Yeah. So 16 go to 81. Uh, no, John, you are the second, so you lose 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, everything you've got left converts to money. So that, I, sorry, I had to throw these 15 did. away, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Is what, is it, at what rate? One each? One each. So every resource, every wood, and every bread is worth three, one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, is that one, one point? Yeah. John W. D. What have you Agile got? Agile John in there. What have you got left in terms of. I've got. Those. So every five is worth a point. One, two, three, four, five. For bread as well? Yeah, everything. Oh, I could. You got three three points. Go oh, three, thank you. Runaway winner. Yeah, and you've got. One point. What's that? Two points? Yeah. Two points. There you go. What fun. Very you interesting. 120. <laughs> that is an impressive score for your first game. I'd never do it again, Paul. Uh, 86, second, and then 82, third. Mm -hmm. 
So thank you all for playing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Um, that was a tutorial and uh, playthrough. So thank you very much. Thank you for teaching us. Bye.